right now we have Hoji, we have Centrelink, aka Ascent. Uh, Ascent, a fairly experienced player. He's been around a while. He's played a lot. Hoji, he's pretty new to Quake as far as I know, right? Like picked it up in the last two years. Um, yeah, I think so. Obviously, he's been playing a fair bit with the the boys, the the fellas, the fellas. Yep, Jenkins, Owen, and all of those boys. They obviously grind a lot. So, I mean, yeah, if he's put in the practice this week, you know, he could definitely take the game. They played in the groups. These two, I think, it went two one to Ecent. So, you know, who, we know Hodge can take maps off him. How well practiced is he? We'll see. Round yeah, we've got bans on Galena and bans on Solag. Um, so, I mean, Galena, fight. really, you know, kind of on meter character, very popular to pick. On the bigger maps, uh, lots of potential to just, like, you know, dominate control even when you're not getting those megas. Uh, the maps we're going to see, we have Corrupted Keep up, up first, which I'm just very slowly loading into. I've got the game installed on an HDD. After that, we have Awoken. Yep. Uh, then uh, Veil I'll, um, of Nath. Right, I'll take the Ruins. start, so... Yeah, that's right. I'll we'll take the start. At the moment, sound like got position. Oh no, here we go. Good. Just fighting on the second heavy spawn. Maybe if I do. And this is exactly what I think you already expected, right? It was going to be just crawling and fights. So you right loading in or are you having trouble? I think I've crashed. No, that's right. I'll, I'll cover the game. So, wow. That's a good. Hodge's just stole the Mega with his Doom Fist. He's going to get out of there though, because he's got no armor to work with. Eastern will finally get the LG 50 seconds into the game. We'll be happy about that. And yeah, I mean, one zero quickly to Eastern, but Hodge's sort of pinned him here. And Hodge, I think if he sta stays stacked up on. Um, if he stays stacked up on Rockets, I feel like Rocket Spam will be massive for him. Especially with the Doom Guy double jump, like you really want to get him rocket wise because it's so hard to hit. You, you have to, you know, LG the Doom Guy pretty much. It's just way harder to hit him in a rocket fight because of his double jump. And you can see it. Both players are sort of trying to hear each other out. But he's going to get in a fight here surely. Oh, and he catches him out. Oh, if that second rocket was, oh, if that second rocket was put against the wall, I reckon he would have hit him, and he probably could have even killed him there. He's picked up another cycle of the heavy. He's going to press this mega hard. He's got a time on it. He's going to bully him off it. No, he's backed off. He wasn't certain if it was um, coming up or already taken, so I think he just didn't want to risk entering the room. He sense getting a lot of uh, cry bolt damage down. And yeah, this is like where I was trying to say Hodgie's going to try and get in rocket fights, but that there wasn't a rocket fight. Do you know what I mean? But you can see he's going for it. He actually just misses the rocket there off the um, spawn going through the, the mega. Teleporter. I don't know if saw it or not. He's setting up a little bit of a trap here. Probably needs to get a little bit more stacked before going too hard. And he wants to fight here. He's got his Doom Guy ability, which is what he wanted. I think he was hoping for maybe two to three punches. What the Doom Guy close quarters can do sometimes is he with his um swing, he sort of really manipulates his um his air movement. So it's very hard to hit with rocks. Are you in the Sorry. game? I'm, I'm out of the game, but I've got the stream up. Nah, nah, uh, so that's I right. I'll just on. We'll just get you no, back no, in. Well, look, I, I can actually still see what's going on. And I mean, yeah, just yeah. watching Hodge so far, like, uh, Centrelink, he's had some solid LG on him. And Hodge just caught in the air, right? Like, that's that's a really big thing to watch when you're that Doom guy, that double jump. It's really tempting yeah. to press. Yeah, that's what I mean. He, yeah, he had to get in rocket fights. He just needs to make sure that they are rocket fights, So You don't want to get easy in a range where he thinks it's an LG fight. Because, yeah, he, like I said, he'll pin that double jump. But... Really has to be careful going for LG. He needs to get out of this room as he can. And he will probably double stack rockets here. He sees Ascent now. So when he sees Ascent, he should definitely be trying to spot him with rockets. And just, you know, the Mega's up next. Just watch the Mega and spam it. There you go, hits a hundy. He, oh, he hits a 74, but after the Mega, he has to stack back up though. He's going to lose the heavy, but if he can just get this green armor here, it is up a little bit later. And he said he was actually going for it anyway, so he was probably right to move away from it. I don't know whose map this was. I feel like it might have been Ascent's because I feel like Hoji might go to the rail a bit more. Then the LG, you can see the way that he plays. He, de he definitely doesn't feel as comfortable taking LG, LG fights. 
So that's what I'm thinking. Maybe he's more like rail player. He might have to make it here if he goes for it. No, he's 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 pressing too hard. He knows E sen is low. He's hit some good spam, but he's got to also think about himself as well because he can't get caught here. He's gonna get his light armor. That's perfect. And here we go. E sen only took one of the healths. Wow. This is actually yeah. still an opportunity for Hodge here if he goes and he's and he has gone. He senses that E sen's low. He should know heavy's up now though. Hopefully he goes back for it. He still senses E sense low. He's going in hard here. He's probably not, yeah, he's gonna go with the heavy. Yeah, and look, like it's one of those things. Like he has an oh opportunity to get the heavy. Sorry, Phylum, he just no. killed him with the MG, just escaping to the heavy. Oh. I can't believe it, dude. I, honestly, I, I thought he let it go. Five minute warning. Yeah, it's a great catch. Um yeah, and it's so important. Like, you can see that even though he moved away from it, he did still have a sense of the timing and, like, where Ascent was going. So, really yeah. well played. He did a great job, like I said, spamming rockets. Like, that was the key that really opened him up to be in that aggressive state. And it, now that he's got that kill, though, he really has to just reset and pretend like it's, it's even now. Like, he's not got a lead. He has to still work his ass off. So, hopefully, he'll, uh, he'll play that way. And he's just got the mega. They've traded items, so... It's gonna be even for the next fight. Yeah, and Hodge, you can actually even think about uh, getting some damage on his small armors. That would be perfect right now. It looks like he's going the other way. He's just got. He's just gone after heavy, but I think he's just laying a little bit low right now. He's just gonna pick up the second great light armor now, and he's in a he's, he's full stack now. That's he, he got both like, small armors, mega. so that's perfect. Yeah. He, yeah, he doesn't know the heavies at the same time, but here he goes. He gets in a fight. Nice little rocket jump up. He's gone. You see what I'm saying about the LG though? He switches out to the MG a lot, so I just don't think he feels as comfortable on the LG. And that's like probably saying that maybe Crafty Keep is definitely not high on his uh, list of maps, I don't reckon. Since it's so heavy, heavy on the LG. So I'm interested to see then what Hodge can do once the Railgun's introduced. Like I said, um, this uh, group stage game versus Ascent went 2-1, so we know that he... Yeah, and uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the two that Ascent <laughs> took away. Yeah, well, actually I can check. Oh, no, I can't. So I'll have to check later. Hmm. But, but yeah, like, uh, we, we can see some, we can see the spark here. It's just uh, strong. Well, LG you know what's also interesting is like, so he doesn't, he can see that he doesn't really like to go for LG fights, but he's also got a character that's significantly bad against the LG as well. So I feel like it's almost like a double up of, um, you know, someone who's not going to use the LG that much. And then he picks a character that's also very weak against the LG. Yeah, what's interesting too is that he was originally trying to pick uh, Solag into this, right? Right, right, yes. And Centrelink is the character that... Uh... Oh no. Yeah, uh, he, sorry, he banned Solag and then tried to pick it. But again, like his, uh, Solag's another character that's really, really weak against the LG, just because yep. he has a massive hitbox. Right, yeah. Oh, nice prediction from Centrelink. And that's probably going to take us out, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that margin's yeah. just too big. Yeah, like, you know what's funny is it is big, but it's not that big if you consider the fact that Hodgy really didn't go to the LG at all this game. Mm. Like, he's done, he's done 65 damage with that. I mean, e -Cent didn't go to it too much either. Not a great deal. He did get four kills with it, though, so... Yeah, and like, when he was pulling it out, it was important. You know, he used it really well yeah, to punish yeah. things that Hodge was doing. Uh, and but then yeah, like he's also just stepped up in those closer rocket fights. Oh. Coming on to uh, Awoken next, and yeah, definitely a railgun map. So what were the um, bands? You said Sawlag, and what was the other one? The Galena. Uh, Centrelink throughout Galena, yeah. Yes, okay. So again, Galena's a great pick on Awoken as well. Um, Sawlag can be too. I wouldn't be surprised if we, uh, look, well, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see this exact same champion pick again. Uh, Doom's a great pick there. Oh, look at that plasma. <laughs> So maybe, yeah, maybe Hodge just needs some time to warm up here. 
Um, but yeah, Doom versus Bison would be a really sensible and safe pick from everyone. No anarchies, no no strogs, nothing nothing too weird. Yeah, they dumped it in chat, so like I said, Corrupted Keep, Awoken, uh, Nap, Ruins, and then What was DMC. the third map? Awoken and then what? Veil. Veil, alright, and then yeah, Ruins. Cool, yeah, yeah, Awoken. Yeah, that'd be cool to see um, Hodge on Awoken. I did just watch Ascent play Awoken though, and he did look pretty sharp on it as well. Um, hmm. So I think it's going to be an interesting one. Yeah, like as much as we're saying that Hodge can pull out some Railgun action, uh... A sense rail gun is nothing to to take for granted either. Prepare to fight. Round begins in three, two, one. Fight. Hodge off the start. Let's see what this scale bearer can do. Yeah. It's, so it's gonna be a momentum game. One. It's not too bad, but he wasn't using the LG last map, so. I, th I think the LG is probably a bit easier to use in a lot of situations he's here. He's crisp with the movement, man. I, he is really crisp, dude. Yeah. I actually yeah, watched, um, I, who did I watch last week play Saw Lag? Was, who was in the amateur finals? League? Was it Westy? No, it wasn't Westy. It, wasn't, it wasn't definitely wasn't Westy. Westy. It might have been, it might have been someone, but there. The Saw Lag movement is not. Whiffed rail off the start, that would have been a yeah, great opening. But trap. I thought he yeah. might have even popped his ability there, and he's gone for the rail trade and missed. Look, don't keep peeking for these shots, just get yeah, some health get and out, uh, get, stay yeah, alive. Exactly right. Yeah, you gotta be happy just dealing damage and leaving it there, mm -hmm. and not like trying to. Like, you can push when it's the time. Yeah, the important thing is gonna be that he holds on to all these guns. Like, yeah. uh, Hodge can stack up. Scalebearer has the ability to stack up incredibly, yep. right? He will come out of these situations better if he's trading. He just has to stay alive and make sure he still has guns to his name. Yep. And so he's just used his um, Scalebearer ult. As long oh. as he just used his Scalebearer ult to get position on Mega. Then he was a bit worried he sent was maybe going to set up a trap or something. What I really liked there was his timing, right? You saw right onto that small armor right as it came up. Yeah, that's, that's right. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's definitely needs some rockets, so he's probably going to get them now. He's, he's, he gets yep. them as well. Here we go. You like see it's heavy. Oh, a very high rocket jump from Isen. And Hoji's not done. Look, it, it's a little bit awkward in the end. Like, he didn't quite get the damage he wanted. Yeah, uh, he, just yeah, get he did. Armor. Oh, what a sense. They have both, have they both over respected each other here? They both left the Mega up. So I think Hoji felt Stanley had position, which he did, but then Isen presumed it was either gone or that he was gone for. Interesting rocket jump, though. I don't know. Look, it was a bit too bold. Yeah, a um, bit brave. Link did hit like the perfect rocket, which you wouldn't always necessarily expect. Right, so Hodge's got a time now. Damage damage down here. Okay. Got some good damage off, but doesn't get his scale bear rush. He's gonna have to leave. This is a really good use of vision for Ascent. So yeah, he can't actually. Oh. Hodge picks the wrong time to stand up. I was about to say he's gonna have a hard time pushing. Um, he didn't even need to push, the rail was just there for him. Yeah. He had a couple of good traps ready at heavy, but he just kind of executed a bit slow or uh, like hesitated or mm -hmm. instead of diving in on it, I think he just wanted to deal the damage, but he just didn't connect with the, the damage that he was obviously after. So yeah, you just exactly. have to switch out your place all so now and we'll see what he does. I, I feel like it's got to be one of those things where you burst into the room and you just have that kind of arrogant, like, I'm going to completely demolish Oh, yeah, like a damn kind of rap or, yeah, like the pros do, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they also, like, they also understand when to do it though as well. Like, oh, yeah. Like, it's not always a good idea to do that. Now, Hodge has just been chipping away here for the last, like, yeah, 30 seconds. Yeah, he's done well there, even stack at the moment, but he's obviously sent Decent's going to be able to fall back to heavy, but yeah, Hodge is doing really well there. As far as I'm concerned, that's fine. Oh, and he's fine. left Mega up, has he? No, he's gone back for it. 
that actually worked out really well because Ascent was pre-firing the Mega. Yeah. So yeah, Hodge yeah. is uh, perhaps accidentally dodged, but dodged nonetheless. Yeah. Um, and honestly, if you have to pick as a scale bearer, pick Mega and give up Heavy because you're going to get way more from those small armors. Right. I didn't see. I didn't even know that. There you go. Yeah, just because your armor. Oh, out. nice rail. Okay. Oh. Beautiful. So now he's got a position to move on a, on a heavy, and he has. He's sense given him the respect, and he's hit a great rail though. All right, here we go. He's gonna steal the mega though, and that's good play from Sentinel. He kept him out there because I feel like right now Hoji's in a good position to kill him. Yeah, exactly. If Hoji can um, find him though, that's the thing. Oh, yeah, Hoji has a good read. I'm gonna flick over to Hoji, see what he can do here. Since he's, in control. he's just got a read. He's got a... Oh, free rail, nice. Oh, shit. Oh my god! Oh, the what shot the onto his toes. Oh, he's lost position on heavy though. Is he gonna jump on it? He's gonna have to go here. Do it. Oh, no, yeah. he's gonna drop. Oh, no, sorry. No, he's he waited. No, I lied. I, I, mean, I said the wrong thing then. He should have stayed up there and railed because he'd already lost the heavy. He should have can... dropped if he was gonna drop on the heavy. That's what I meant. That's it, yeah. Like, he, he needed to either drop or not drop. And he probably actually needed to drop because if he didn't, like, yeah, drop straight on away, that, though. Yeah, second, straight he, away, but he, I think he was exactly. a bit late anyway. It's all right. He, look, yeah. he had a great setup play with the rails. He sent kind of felt like he was probably going to sacrifice his life for the heavy. Mm -hmm. But then it's ended up working out for him, obviously, because um, Hodge dropped to LG. So. But also, I, I think Hodge realized that if he didn't drop, he would just give up Mega anyway. So he just kind of rolled the dice on it. Oh. Um, Still, I, if I could go oh. back and tell him, I would have stayed up there and rail, but it's alright, yeah. look. <laughs> he's still got five minutes to pull back three frags, like, he's obviously, oh. we've seen what he can do, so he can definitely... There he goes. He's feeling... He's got a big stack right now, he just doesn't have any rocket ammo or rail ammo to take a fight, and you can see... But look at that, even just, after uh, that rail, he's, there. he's still equal, if not a little bit ahead. Right? Yeah, the stack, the heavies, yeah. Yeah, but that's the thing. I, it's like he doesn't quite real. Like he takes the rail, so he goes, oh, "I have to be passive," this and he doesn't be an quite realize. Fight. He has to see what he's gonna do here. He's been red. Yeah, he's gonna get out now, and he is. Oh wait, Eason's kind of giving him mega. Oh, yeah. How that? Yeah. See, once Ascent misses that rail, you can actually dive for the mega. Yeah, more or less. Here we go. Oh, Hodgie's gonna oh, get it, and he's gonna yeah. barrel rush out of there. He's gonna just leave, Perfect. and he does well to hug the wall there, so he can't be railed as well. And he's actually doubling back. Interesting. So yeah, I mean, we, we've seen really good split control here for the entire yeah. map. Uh, neither player's oh, really made. Oh, uh, there's a play. Oh, and he hits the rail as well. This is it. Look at Ascent. He's so low right now. What is his health? 5 HP. He's obviously just used his wall hack. And Hoji just needs to tickle him here. Just needs to tickle him. No need to go crazy, Hoji. There he goes. And now Beautiful. what's he going to... Now it's about what is he go, going off the spawn. So he's just unfortunately lost the mega spawn. And Ascent might even get both items here. Yep, he has That's... both items. Losing Mega off the spawn isn't so bad, but losing both is a bit both, of a problem. Both, yeah, for him that was right a, now. that was a tragic spawn for Hodgie. Actually, that was a really bad spawn, especially with only two frags in the game. Do you know what I mean? Your opponent spawns <laughs> Mega and Heavy. The, and the Hodgie stack can't stay pretty on close. This. He can't stay. If on he this. hits a rail, he's coming back after he hits the Hundy. Yep, he's nah, coming back, nah, and Hodgie nah. doesn't have the time on Mega. That's the problem here. Yeah, he's gonna be forty, I reckon. Yeah, off oh, the map. Wow. Oh, he's out. <laughs> So unfortunate, eh? Just that whole sequence of events, just so unfortunate. That spawn is just so unfortunate. Well, it, well, it wasn't even, like, he took too much damage getting the frag, so then off the spawn he didn't have the same options, and Ascent just got oh, a really oh, nice spawn. And, yeah, massive and actually, rocket. He's out of rockets. He's going about to go over the rocket. I don't think he realizes. Ooh. I don't think, um, Hodgie didn't realize that he didn't have rockets there, because he wasn't using them. Yeah. It can be pretty hard to read out. Do out oh, Hodge realize well. that he doesn't realize that Mega's there. Nah, it's okay. He's gonna get. He'll probably get hit. Mm -hmm. He stays for it. He sensed that. Really nah, he sensed that. He sensed was in a trap position. Yeah, but he's got no rail. Yeah, just get the rail and drop the heavy. Three minutes. I mean, two minutes. Sorry, three frags in two minutes. What can he do? This is his opportunity here. He's got a little bit of a stack going. He just needs to. Oh, oh he, he's, he's in the right spot. They rail each other. Oh, oh no, no. Is, he is, he out? is he dead? Oh, he's just gonna get out. Great use of the bull rush to get away, oh, but the teleporter angle. 
And Hodge even knew to expect that he looked that way. As soon as he was there, he realized. He almost needed to like do a 360 around in a circle. Or I don't know, can you cancel that ultimate after you use it? Uh, you, I think you can kind of cancel it by walking into walls and stuff. But yeah, not that's like... what I mean. Yeah, running around in a circle. Yeah, that's the only thing he could have done there to stop from running into the LG. It's a big first rocket. Yeah, I mean, this, this isn't over. Oh, he He's just up. delayed picking up that light armor just enough that he didn't cop a full damage rocket there. And they're both so low. You got six seconds on Mega. Hodgie's gonna be good stack here, and he's gonna get Mega. He's got one minute though. Oh, yeah. great first rocket. Oh, it's just unfortunate. Yeah. He's, he knocked Centrelink off of the item, but just can't stay out there long enough himself. And I think there's just a couple of times in this game Hodgie would definitely be kicking himself. Hmm. Yeah, there were a few little things that just could have gone differently that would have made it so much closer. Mm, sure. And yeah, apparently you can actually cancel uh, Bull Rush. Yeah, yeah. That, he should have done that. He should have done that. Because he even, he even looked at the teleport exit like he knew there was an angle there. Like he, he knew to expect an angle there. But he, it's almost like he just didn't think far enough or think at the time like to cancel. Or maybe he doesn't yeah. even know. Maybe even, he yeah, I, I have never cancelled a Bull Rush. I don't know plan else. That's good. GG's, yeah. I, I played a little bit of Scale Bearer, but uh, like early days, like yeah, quick yeah, championship I played, days. Yeah, I played him pretty early back when he used to do, what, <laughs> a thousand damage ball rush. Mm. Oh, those are the days. So yeah, two to zero match point for Ascent. It's going to be tight and coming into Veil of Nash for potentially uh, a decider. You know, the only thing that I really like about that map for this particular matchup is that I feel Ascent's doing more work with the LG and Hodge is doing slightly more work with the Rockets and I feel mm -hmm. like Vale is definitely a tiny bit more favoured towards Rockets because it's so close. Obviously it depends on how you play the map but I feel like a lot of those heavy and um, mega health bikes oh, uh, play out with like Rockets. Prepare to fight. Round begins in 3, 2, one fight. So yeah, third map match point for Ascent in the um beginning grand finals. Oh, this is a dangerous fight. Full rush trap. LG though, he did get the rockets, which is sort of costing him a little bit there. Ascent's going for the heavy now. Could have even stuck to the shotgun there. I will um flick around to Hodgy and see what he can do. Yeah, it's it's gonna be Hodgy in control. Well, I, I, I kind of favor the scale bro on this map. I've seen a lot of people play it. So I know Vise is like a, a good pick on every map. I just think maybe he can get more use out of um, the bull rush than what uh, Ethan can get out of the Vise, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I feel like this is a map where it's really easy to read where your opponent is as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly as well, I agree. Nice decision by Hodgy. He goes over to get the Mega. He gets an armor as we well. So he can 50 points of stack to 100. Nice dodging from the Ascent. And, he, and Hodgy, good from Hodgy to recognize that he had to leave. But then he didn't think Ascent was going to chase him. Like he should have definitely. <laughs> yeah, and you know, there it's a really go. solid chase from Ascent. Nice catch with OG. Great rail. Nice clean rail. Yeah, from Ascent. Oh, good rocket spam, though. I don't know about... Yeah, uh, there's good trade from Hodgy. I don't know about sticking to um, LG there for Ascent. And that's what we were saying in Corrupted. You know, it felt like Hodgy was out getting him out with the rockets. But it just felt like Ascent was, like, just almost, like, very favorably winning one-sided LG fights. So it almost felt like Ascent was, like, a bit stubborn there, where he's just like, yeah, LG's good because I'm winning those fights. But, you know. I felt like Rockets was always a better choice there. Oh, there goes a pop. Nice, yeah, good prediction. Did he pop him through the teleporter? That was awesome. Um, yeah, I think so. He definitely hit him with something walking into the room, and Hodge's gonna get both items here, because he's got Mega and Heavy timed. And, uh, I mean, this is for what... This is looking very um, good for Hodge, and this is probably the best he's looked at all the maps, you know what I mean? Mm. Here he goes, good ball rush, although he eats that rocket. He's got to be careful, he doesn't need to force it. Yeah, he actually gets got a no now damage respect. there. He's got a now fallback respect there. That's really good. sad for him, because his movement was so good, and the idea was so good, and he just doesn't connect with that first rocket that, that probably would have made that a frag. I think he's I think he's too often thinking, though, like, I've got to force something right now, instead of using it to set up something. Mm. 
and now he's caught in this sort of awkward fight where, you know, he's eaten a lot of damage trying to force something from before. And even though he got the heavy there, it's it's not the same as what he had before with the mega and heavy mm. stack. Exactly, right. Sentry like, had a chance to he's stack definitely, He's well. definitely got a plan here, and I feel like he can win this map with the plan that he's executing. So, you can, yeah, you can see, like, what... It, he, he's almost trying to get set up right, so he can just bully Ethan's rocket. Look straight away. He wants to force a rocket fight. Like oh, he wants to get right in Ethan's face and force a rocket fight every time. Yeah. So how can I get up and get in a rocket fight? Exactly. I like the idea of bull rushing it onto the mega, but the problem is it's hard to pivot that into damage. Yes. But yeah. essentially, he's able to land that damage and pretty much negate the pickup. This is great pressure from Hodge. Yeah, it is, but he, he's got to be careful still. That's the thing. And he, that's what I was saying before about him forcing it. Like, he sense hitting very good um, defensive damage. So you, you kind of you have to respect your opponent. And there's, there's a heavy, but he's still like this. That could have been his heavy. Yeah. yeah. Could, although, maybe, maybe not. He sent was definitely up there watching it. Um, he has got the trade of the Mega, which is good. So it's not... I, I, I think he was alright to be patient there. I think that was a good move. Uh, it's always hard, right? Because if you take the damage, your opponent is ready to rotate back yeah, on the mega. Hindsight is definitely a beautiful thing. Yeah. <laughs> Done well, though. He's still got a good stack. He didn't eat any damage. He took the mega. He's got the heavy time. He's got the heavy. I don't know how Centrelink's messed up the timing here. Although, I did watch him do this against Nora before, where he forgot the timing of the items, the cycle of the items. And good damage from uh, good damage from Hoji, but he's come back up the launch pad. Oh, crazy rocket trade. Oh, he's so low. He and he, I mean, he honestly, he had 5 HP and he hits a rail. You hate... You hate when that happens because you'd rather the player just get the kill. But um yeah, he sent hit a good um rail upon dying just before and was able to pick it up on respawn. So. Yeah, but Hodge respawns with a lot, right? That scale bearer yeah, sure. initial stat. Oh. Cheeky plays. Couple of setup Cheeky rails. Hodge should back off to Mega He's not gonna know that it's up. He's gonna see it now probably. Yep, here he goes. And he's in a fight here. He's that's what he almost didn't realise he was in a fight then. Yeah, he just he, he was very single mindedly focused on that mega and it almost yeah, like him dearly. Not running with his back turned to the opponent. Yeah, yeah. Here's the wall hack. It's only one kill down. It's definitely nothing to sweat right now. If he's gonna go to He's gonna know Heavy just got picked up then, so he's gonna know it's back at 50. I don't know he can stay in this room though. E sent, I feel, might try to force a point. Here he comes. He's showing respect. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I think he maybe we... didn't want to risk the one drag as well, would you know? Exactly, you can just hold on to this. Yeah, pick um... apart your opponent with damage. Yeah, and just set up, because he knew he could set up and get good damage on this heavy. Hodge, he's, he's just been a bit too passive here, you know, he had a monster stack Wait, coming to that item. Heavy here. I think e has got two... Oh no, Hodge's missed! Oh, and he's done... Oh no! And then... <laughs> Everyone's missing there. Oh Everyone... no, and now he can't jump on it. He still goes for it. Good LG for oh. both players, though. And actually... Oh, wow, if he'd hit that rail, that would have been, been super good for him. He's got Mega if he can get round to it, though, but he's, he's being patient. Show respect to Esen. And Esen is actually lost out here. So Hodgie, I mean, he did well. He stayed in the right position. Like, he, you know, he stayed in the right area of the map to just bully off that Mega. Yeah. And, like, just, yeah, once he realized the heavy rotation was there, even though it was a bit scrappy, like, he yeah. was in the right place, he was doing the right yeah, thing. Yeah. Heavy's up. He's going to see it. Oh, this could be good. He hits a big hundy. Denies the heavy. That's perfect. Oh, no. This is no. Don't force it. No. Great rail, though. Yeah, and now he's, he's going to get rush. out. Wow, so aggressive. Oh. oh, my God. Holy crap. I mean, I it, it works. Like, I'm not going to fault it because it works. <laughs> Um, it just comes so far down to the wire, like, Centrelink actually self-damaging himself to death. Hodge, he can get into position on this heavy. He can actually be here, right? He feels like he can't, but he's just respawned, and he doesn't yes, have he's LG. He's hitting some big yes. damage on that heavy, and that is good because, you know, he just hit, what, about 160 damage there? The heavy's only 100, so that's a net win for him. But the problem is, is right now he's not in a good position because he's got an LG, but Esen doesn't come up, so I think he's going to give Hodge the respect again, so... 
Interesting, Ecent doesn't like fighting in that Mega Room, though. I thought he would want to take LG fights there, but he seems to be very respectful of Hodgie's output. Although, in saying that, he's realized oh. Hodgie was on the wrong side, and he's tried to steal the Mega, and he could be punished for it, but Hodgie doesn't go for the Heavy. Surely, Hodgie's yeah. got to know. Hodgie. He can afford to push for this, if he gets the catch. Oh, oh he's got no. to connect with those shots, though. And that's what's given up Heavy. I love the idea of going around to Rail Room. Like when you know your opponent's weak and backing off them. Yeah. But well, you've got to hit your shots. Two minutes. Oh, man. Here he goes. Oh, and he's oh. just got caught. And he, he had so much momentum going there. He had, It's not a down and out just yet. He just did pick up a pretty alright spawn. He's just got to get guns, though. He is behind him, surely. Yep. Here he goes. And he might have tried for a ball rush. Yep. Beauty play. Oh my god. That oh, was so clean combo. as well. Look at his health. I can't like Ascent didn't even predict that. Yeah, it's so hard to predict. You can't lose sight of the items though, Hoji. That's the only thing. You get too excited in the kill. You gotta you gotta re you gotta be able to reset what's next. What's the next item up? Look, I, I honestly don't hate it because he does need this frag. One frag on this map can really like mm. you can you can hold on to it for a long time. Mm -hmm. I, I like that he's hungry for this right now. Mm. No rail gun though, is he gonna go for it? It's a bit risky to go to that area right now, but he's got a one minute. He's almost he's almost thinks Esan's gonna be running now, so he's gonna try and get him down. Here he is, him. Got the he's a bit heavy on he's a bit early on the heavy. Hodgie drops on a perfect drop. LG this is the LG Hodgie fight to win it. Oh my god, he's gone with the full rush. He's got the knockback. Anything, Hodgie. Oh no. He didn't have the rail gun, which he really needed from before. And this is what I'm saying where he should reset. So he's got 40 mm -hmm. seconds. He really should just go, all right, I'll take the mega and I'll, and I'll reset. that. He wants to fight though. Oh, it's risky. It's so risky. He's coming back in without a rail gun. Can he? Oh. I thought he was going to get an angle on that. 30 seconds. I mean, what can he do? That's it. You've just given up mega. He's, he's just got to push. Lost heavy as well. Oh, honey, though. Okay, that's the perfect rocket to open it up. He's got no armor though. Oh, he hits a rail. Oh, oh. Oh, you did oh, the clutch. No. Oh, no. One rail would have sealed it. He almost had the angle. I can't believe it. Oh. So close, dude. So close. Damn. <laughs> that was a good game though, hey. That, that was, was so back and forth. That was so back and forth. Hmm. Yeah, Man, yeah, that really well played. That was a sick charge from Hodgie as well. That was a sick. Like, just he had, no, he almost had nothing to lose, and he just saw a small window where he's like, "I wonder if Esen will expect the teleporter charge," mm. and he just fired it up, and then just good shotgun. Yeah, it's it. like he he fired the super shotgun once and got a frag with it. Oh, it was a big, yeah, yeah it was a big <laughs> shotgun yeah, as well. We're going to be loading into the grand final of the amateur bracket of the uh, Oceanic Quake series season three, Westy oh, versus oh, Mordecai. Oh. Westy off the spawn, ruins the sun our first map. Let's go. Begins in. Uh, follow killer on, yes. Two, follow killer one, on, yes. Fight. Oh, and straight off the bat, Westy getting his orb in there. Oh, doesn't make much of it, but no. he, he basically a waste. Go. <laughs> um, I mean, Maybe look, trying he... the intimidation tactic straight off the bat. Yeah, I like that he gets the. Uh... Well, I like that he gets the rail early, but yeah, it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> So here we go. Both, both of them allowed to get essentially what they need. Now it seems like Morty's setting up at heavy quite early. Yeah, no, that's and... good. Westy, mm. see, Morty's done his signature item delay here. And Complete trade of items for yeah. each other. I like this position for Westy. Oh, but it's the steal for Mordecai. First blood. Look, that was massive. Um, that was so massive that it froze my game for about five seconds. Oh wow, did it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Cannot I mean, look, compute. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the uh, aggression from from Morty, and I love the you know the kind of pixel perfect item still. But Westy just has too much damage though. Fighter heavy. Now Westy can basically get back up to mega before oh, it stuffs the rocket oh, jump. No. And he's gonna lose the nerve as well. He probably couldn't mm. even run it a second time, but it, you know, true. Can shape that health off. They can still go get it, but not true. aware of or, what's going on. Yeah, no, it, like you wouldn't necessarily know. But Morty's just hold, holding up at the smaller armor. 
He's Lord, he's gone so passive. He's not even shooting. Look, his silence buys him a red armor, but um, West oh, is really small rockets. I have to say, he completely made up for it then, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. He just unleashed absolute hell. Ah, oh, and gets a Shub Slayer in there for good measure too. Come oh, on, we, we missed that from the early days of QC. You could just walk out someone and just like thousand damage. <laughs> oh yeah, well, again, the early, the early gold potato days. Yeah, the days that I enjoyed. Exactly, the days, yeah, when you, you were the top dog. I love those days. <laughs> Alright, Westy, I want to see him get back to this position, and yeah, absolutely. Like, right where Westy's standing right now, you command the whole map, right? You can see both small armors, uh, you can hit lots of great shots, you can hear everything. And the Westy's fact that Westy is... Westy's aware of timing too. Exactly. He so knows the cycle. Straight to heavy? Yep. Beautiful. He's shutting him out. This is what you need to be more focused on when you do duel, if, if you've got the potential to, which is... To remove all the items from your opponents, so that even even if you do now get railed, it doesn't matter potentially because yeah. you're still overstacked. Oh, oh I love that. You know, it's, if you hit two in return, it, it's fine. Yeah. Like, especially one eighty flick rails. <laughs> especially one eighty. Oh, and a third, dear. Stop watch. Alright, no items up on the map right now. This is a good time for Mordecai to hit a red. But it looks like it's gonna be Westy in this room first. How- what? What was that direct rocket? Mordecai just walked into that one. I like what Mordecai's doing with that ankle, but uh, he's actually positioned himself on the wrong side of heavy armor. It's gonna mean Westy gets free passage down here, no delay at all. <laughs> oh yeah, I hate that. Those little gardens when they opened them up a few patches ago have been the mm -hmm. death of me that many times as well. Oh, he did he just one rail down there. Mordecai's doing well, not opening so far. Well, she's doing really well to avoid all the damage. Mm, he's turned into me, right? <laughs> Almost. Again, I love that Westy is so committed to, to T here. Oh. oh my god. It's a scrappy fight. Oh. And uh, Mordecai gets himself on a major item, so this is uh, the most the, the most stack difference we've seen in favor of Mordecai here. Let's, uh, let's actually maybe swap onto Mordecai here, yes, as he picks up. Finally a frag on the board. Five minutes in, four frags to go, he's forced a beautiful spawn and hit the perfect shot, so uh, everything's coming up Mordecai right now. This is enough time in, or in order to at least get an equal score, if not win, but he needs to demonstrate the same thing as Westy was before, which is controlling the items, cycling between them. Yeah, exactly. Pushing him off whenever he poses a threat. If he gives Westy a single easy item, he, he's putting himself behind what Westy did to him for the first time. So Westy's applying the correct amount of pressure. He's pushing him to the item, hitting damage and then pushing back off. Which exactly. then allows him to push Morty off the next item. Through positioning and opening damage. Yeah, now Westy hasn't hit anything. He doesn't need to get too committed here. And he backs off. Perfect. That's what you want to see. Tries to hit damage on the next item. Moves off. Collects what he can. Moves to the next item. Tries to do damage, restocks, gets what he needs. Mm -hmm. And then get position ready for the next He's really displaying some brain here. It's ABC Quake, and it's exactly what he needs to do. Um, oh. Have an orb back. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Well, both orbs down here, that's gonna look good for Mordecai, the man in control. Cow. Dive straight down to that LG, but the rockets are smooth. Um, this is nice for Westy. I think Westy actually won't be in a bad spot to win the next uh, Mega, if not this red. <laughs> so
the second time tonight we've seen Mordecai favor going to get a health bubble rather than taking his major item, and, and you know it's the second time we've seen it cost him just such a huge amount of control. Sometimes it's all right to sacrifice a little bit of control if you know that you're going to spawn, you know, with a better ability to defend yourself. Exactly. But, but yeah, it's it's yeah. very rare that that does happen. Yeah, exactly. So, sometimes, yeah, it sometimes it's worth dying. It's really easy. Yeah, for a strategy. tank, like a keel or scale bearer. I think that's something that makes uh, Westy really scary when he is playing scale bearer. Is that he, you know, because he has nice rockets and hits some really nice shots, people just trade off well. Uh, Westy, a little bit late going up for that item. Beautiful use of weapons there from Mordecai, especially with the, the rail swap. We're still expecting him to come from top. Yeah, it doesn't even do could it possibly be used use the orb then to secure the frag? Wow. And yep, repeat with six health. Yeah. Just why not? One MG shot and you're dead. Just pick. It's fine. It doesn't, don't worry about it. You have no G, Westy. <laughs> Westy only speaks uh, 180 rails. The, the native language of Westy. A lot of aggression out of Westy. Wow. And didn't really take anything for it. Yeah, it can be an awkward spot to hit rockets. I honestly don't hate diving onto the eyeball just with nails. And just Dude, seeing the eyeball yeah. just creates the most uncoordinated fights in Quake mm -hmm. history. Yeah, it's insane. It's in insane. Quake history. Quake, Quake, the Quake. The, the principle of rockets in Quake do not agree with Spears. Yeah, well, I was about to say, who would have ever thought that a half a circle could create such pain? Well, no one ever did it before, and there's maybe a reason why. <laughs> a um, lot of things haven't been done before, but they are in Quake Champions. Yeah. I can't think of another dual, of, of any other Quake that has a death pit on a dual map. <laughs> and then Quake Champions just has them everywhere. Um, one minute warning. But hey. Westy, even though he's taking the Mega, he's in a tough spot. Yeah, Mordecai hit You can hear him coming though, you can hear him coming. I like the rocket placement oh. for Westy. Yeah. Uh, and we're coming into the last minute, well, well into the last minute now, uh, is Westy taking this first map. Fairly convincingly, he, he almost started to throw it a little bit, just giving away a few easy frags to Mordecai. Um, and, you know, Mordecai definitely got some good control going, and he's shown us some pretty scary aim. It's just I think Westy's of... got all the bling, too. Mm. Bling's using the QPL skins and all that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So he's coming in with style. <laughs> Swag and 180 rail. Oh, how do you compete with that? You lose. Well played, Westy. So Westy straight out of the box, well straight out of the gate, and into a W. What I really like here actually, uh, just looking at the damage breakdown, pretty much the same damage, pretty much the same distribution with the different guns, right? It was just coming down to when that damage came out and Westy's control. The items aren't even that different, really. It's uh, heavy armors on Westy. But yeah, like, very, very, uh, very nice yeah. to see. Uh, so what map Awoken. are we seeing next? Awoken is next. Awoken. Hmm. I haven't really played West here on Awoken from what I remember. Hmm. So this could be, yeah. Not. I can't really comment on who may win this one, unfortunately. Yeah. So do, do you think Sarnath was Westy's pick? No, I reckon possibly Ruins would have been. I might even pick Morty here. Prepare to fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested go to Morty see guy. it. Let's go with Morty off the spawn, because I feel like we saw a lot of Westy last map. Two, and now, uh, of course, fight. just as we get started here, what better uh, time to see a, a double Doom death match than on the, just after the release of the Beautiful Doom rocket straight off spawn. Beautiful rocket. Lucky to not get the kill. Oh, here we go. We're gonna get it now. Nice. Beautiful. Good way to start. Yeah. You gotta watch out with that double jump. Sometimes it does just leave you sitting in midair. Yeah, it often catches me off guard a lot. 
Especially when people like Python and Spot have to use it. Yeah, definitely. Stop watch. Workin's a very centralized map. Sort of like the DM4 of Quake Champions, where there's sort of like a proposed position that you just stand in. Yeah. Which gives yeah, you pretty, pretty much full audio and full control of the rest of the map to a point. I don't think it's fair to compare anything to DM4, but yeah, I, I get what you mean. Mm. <laughs> oh, that was unlucky to me, so. Yeah, Monica are doing everything right so far. I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm lucky to not hit the second one there either. He knew Westy wanted to pick that. Oh, beautiful. Stop. He's just running at him with a rail now, and I'm like, What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, just, I mean, hey, if, if that gun's working, why switch to another yeah, one? That's it. Oh, I'm lucky again. So he's using the angle as well. And he's just missing by the smallest amount on these rails that if he was hitting, I reckon the scores would be a lot different. Yeah, absolutely. Just, and, and especially the damage places, shots. Yeah, for sure. Um, the places where he knows Westy's gonna repeat, especially. Like, he, he would get those rags. Alright, these items are synced up and Westy has made it a great push out there. That's my favourite thing to do on this map, is catch someone on that exact bounce pad with LG. Oh, I feel so good. Any bounce pad on LG is generally pretty good. That one is yeah, better. But, but the smaller the, ones, yeah. Yeah, you get, you get the push. Yeah, you just like knock them out from that. They get tilted, they throw a few frags, pretty much game over from that. Ah, uh, running that L out of rail. Out? Wow. Mega hadn't spawned though, had it? No. No, how did he? Yeah, I swear he had like, I swear he had like 20 health. It felt like, uh, yeah, it felt weird. It felt weird. Yeah. That was, that was a bit of the Westy yeah. back, but... Yeah, that's, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Look at that LG. <laughs> Uh, Lost a total of literally like 40 health. Yeah, Mordecai connecting with 51% LG right now. Is he? Yeah. Oh, he is too. Uh, that must have been his first LG engagement. It was. It was. But, you know, you, you take the, the fancy scoreboard uh, when, when you get it. <laughs> Alright, this heavy could be hotly contested if Mordecai wanted to. But he decides to sit back. He wants this railgun, which is fair. He's just missing these shots by the smallest amount. Yeah, he was just connecting on Weston's ankle. Ah. Uh, unlucky to move. Mm -hmm. So as I said, Morty's looking good on the map so far. Yeah, your prediction seems to be pretty hot. He's just, yeah, he's just moving between the items enough. Exactly. Uh, moving between the items and, and no more than needed. And he's hitting these good rockets too when he's in close battles. Yeah, I, I do like what Westy's done there though, because Westy's now respawned with more and he's been himself the OG off the spawn. So uh, as long as he doesn't get stuck in this awkward position here, which he does, don't go off this bounce pad, Westy. I've, I've said that before. <laughs> that's, a, that's a cool battle. Ah, uh, it was that's a, a shotgun experience. finish. Yeah, no, it Sucre, was... It which means that he doesn't sacrifice any self-damage too, even though he was low. Exactly. So he managed to live another day. Probably should have fallen back onto Heavy to deny it from Westy there. Yeah, the Regardless of his you... death, it may have even saved him. Exactly. When you stand in the doorway to take... Oh! Him, oh. Bang, oh. bang, bang in your face. Mordecai needs to be careful, right? He's got a really nice lead here. He's worked hard to build it up. Don't just let Westy flip this around too easily. No, I'm Westy now, aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're definitely yep. following Westy. The man in control, in command. The man with the rockets to your face. Oh, interesting route here for Westy. Lucky not to hit the rail. Just that uh, Westy can afford to just leave here. Yeah. 
just make sure you're back in time for Mega again. He does kind of need to. I'm not exactly in a good position right now. I mean, that's a great pick up of Mega. Really nice timing. And uh, he's going to get heavy as well. So that push has worked out extremely well for him. Um, just having the reservation to back away. You know, not continue to push. Make sure you were stacked up for when the Mega actually came. It's nice timing. And then it's nice knowledge to know he could cycle around onto the heavy as well. He should be really rewarded here with a, a strong bit of control. Hopefully a frag. And again, Westy's taking the time to move around. Oh. Morty's got Mega to fall back on. Oh, but he doesn't take it. He can get the frag. Oh, but he does take it. Westy! Can now get on the heavy. Uh, Holy crap. Oh. Well. Yeah, nicely done on the exit. Mordecai played that well in the end. I that just like when he missed that mega, I saw everything falling apart. I heard like, you know, like like the the, the veins shattering. <laughs> Tricky movement from Mordecai. Dodging all those rockets. And his railgun. Final Alright, Mega goes to Morty. Collects the middle 50. Beautiful entry damage to the rocket from Westy coming through the teleporter. Westy wouldn't have stood a chance. Now, look at the stack. Difference. Straight off spawn. Has info where he's coming. Oh, what a shot! Beautiful. The stack difference wasn't that big. What, another shot? Yeah. <laughs> These flicks. Although well, the rockets are coming in hot and another exchange. Morty possibly, yeah, could have made that frag count without dying. Yeah, exactly. Or even, you know, you don't necessarily need the frag at this point. Um, just staying alive can be a lot more valuable, especially with someone like Westy who does have this big uh, outplay dependency. Well, also, especially when you've got him in the room, like Rail, mm -hmm. they don't really have anything accessible to him apart from the small armor and good health. Yeah. Right, the frustration of Westy coming out now, knowing that he's got to get frags. Oh! oh Did you what? see that coming? Yeah. Oh, That's that was mean. sweet. It was like, yeah, and you could see it coming from like a mile away. I don't know if we were on, if the stream was on Westy's point of view there. I was, and he had a little dance to, uh, <laughs> to celebrate it. Yeah. Yep. I, I like that Westy's just pushing him. Get, get this catch in this LG room. There's nothing they can do if you catch him, right? Perfect. Uh, you've got to be careful rushing onto heavy from here. Your opponent's going to respawn. They're going to have some stack. So yeah, this good back. I like it. I like it a lot. And now he can actually contest heavy. Heavy jewels for the taking. Yeah, Mordecai, a bit of a blunder there, if anything. Five um, frags a minute and a half. I don't see it being done. Look, he can do it. It's possible. It's possible. Nah, okay? it's not. It is. Not with the running away and... It, it'll take some good spawns. Um... It'll take wow. it, Mordecai wants to do that. That was a weird as midi. Yeah. That was it was that Man little pop the, Oh Westy, don't go. Don't do, it. Here we go. don't do it. He can't pull it back, he was giving up frags. He cannot afford to give up a single frag from there. So that's the thing. This as is well. probably Mordecai's map. Like I said, when you five frags down, you got a minute and a half, you have to do everything right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you can't let your opponent get there. Oh, both players miss a shot, but that works well for Mordecai. Westy finally picked something up. Frag every 10 seconds. Gonna be? Can he do it? He's already behind schedule. Four frags, 30 seconds. It can't just be done. It out. He needs right, the frag. Five leave. seconds. Perfect. Rail and back away. Oh, look, Westy's done so well, but I, I just don't think it can be done. Time is not his friend. You can delay spawns 10 seconds or 5 seconds? I think it's... It's probably 5 now. Oh, oh it gets K... T... F... O... I love it. <sighs> Just for your troubles. BANG! <laughs> Beautiful. It's not It's not a mix mirror... Uh, it's not a Doom mirror match, sorry. Until you've had a punch out. Yeah. I remember them day. I remember when you could launch from the uh, 
heavy armor on Blood Covenant and hit people on the top of the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was intense. <laughs> you just see oh. a doom down at heaven and you'd be like, do I shoot him or do I just run? Just just run. And just then run you'd see him just go into rage and this person just come flying like 300 meters away. It was the, Superman, the Superman frags were some of the exactly. best. Yeah, they were crazy. <laughs> well, these predictions were right that uh, Mordecai would get a map back. Yeah, Chuck's prediction was wrong that uh, they wouldn't hit three hundred damage on uh, three hundred LG damage. Bit of OG happening. Some pretty nice OG from Mordecai. LG can be pretty strong when it working, especially when people are pushing from the higher small armor into mega and stuff because of the small hallway. Yeah. I found out the hard way one night against it. But <laughs> I think he hit literally like 85% Damn. as I went through the doorway and it just, yeah, it just wrecked me. Yeah. So we just to Blood Cup. Blood Covenant. And after this, Molten. And we have a Nyx mirror match again. Ooh. I love it. Well, I'm going to pick um, Western because the last time I played him on it, which was quite a while, he pulled off a lot of shit that I was like, what? Where did I just get railed from? Yeah. Uh, and especially... It's like, quick to move around the map. Yeah. Between this and Molten Falls, like... And Molten Falls is the next map, so, yeah, lots of rails. Lots of uh, lots of room to just get some really cheeky plays in. Yeah, no, I can definitely see Westy taking it. But, again, like, we saw Morty with some pretty good timing last time. I do think Westy's um, game time on a map like Blood Covenant is much more than Mordecai's as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, just all those hours, uh, PQL, Clan Arena yep. on DM6. <laughs> Fight. Yes. Uh, let's, let's look at Monica at the start. Good choice to get the small run so the overstack occurs when you do pick up the heavy. Yeah, he's doing a good job uh, with these spawns. He always wants to delay his item, make sure he's got something else first. Most players with rail, so a rail would be perfect right And I like this, Mordecai delays his item and then gets on the mega. And we're gonna see the invis, the, the counter invis. Sacrifice of the... Oh, look at that. Yeah, no. Frame. Sacrifice of the... Ah. I love it. That was really well played by Mordecai there. Great opening. Very... Dare I say unconventional, and probably what most people wouldn't do, but it definitely paid off. Cops the directories. Attendance yeah, at the position though. Yeah, it's always the risk. Once you want to get in and get scrappy, you know, if you don't realize they have the rocket in the store, you know, you just like kind of underestimate how fast they're going or something. Yeah, you're gonna get your sh stack shredded against someone like Westy. Alright, so free heavy here. Double the stack going on Mordecai. Just gotta listen to the sounds, understand where they are. Oh, lovely rail for Westy. That's where the aggressive invi is coming. Mm -hmm. It's gonna work out well because it's pushed him off Mega oh. again. Mordecai went for the bounce pad invi's rocket bomb that I uh, didn't get the rocket off, so he's just wasted his invi's. He's caught in one of the worst positions on the map. Not sure if Westy tried to jump on top of the big pillar. But there it is, right? Mordecai defensive rockets completely shuts Westy down. Alright, so Westy's backed off to heavy. Morty be able to get Mega again if he's aware that it's up. I think he is. I think he is. He's just taking the sweet time. So you can cross the path and copper rail. Waiting for sound, information. Line or lower rockets. Made it to go up. And there is Westy. Right. So yeah, Mordecai, I mean, even taking a rail is pretty bold. And I like that he doesn't. He may have lost out to Mega here now, though. He's lost out on Mega. He absolutely oh, should. Good shot. Things haven't worked that bad for Mordecai here. Ah, oh, but the rail finishes it for Westy. 
Can't yeah, really do anything against that. The next invis count as next invis. You know, if you're invising second, it, it puts you in a much better spot. Out of Morty. Oh, another hundred just to finish him off. Look, what I really like about that is that he sat on Mega and just played it quiet. Like he didn't just dive on it, whilst he got confused, and then he just gave himself up. Oh, but this is the Westy factor. This is what you gotta watch out for. Monica should just get out. He doesn't want to die. Anymore. Westy's being a little bit more plus forward on this match. Yeah, there's a scary map to plus forward on. Especially with the distance between potential fights. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta be really getting... careful. Sorry, no, you go. No, you're right, man. Um, I was just gonna say about, yeah, like, taking damage, you know, between items on this map. Like, there's so much space between the items, there's so much room to take damage. Um, it's really easy to lose out on an item, you know, 10 seconds before it even comes up. Well, it's really easy to pick up, say, the heavy and then copper rail on the way over to the other item, which negates having picked the, the heavy up in the first place. Yeah, exactly. So you've got to constantly be changing weapons for the worst case scenario to a point. So if you're on the high smaller armor opposite rocket then you're better off probably having rail out because of the distance by the time it takes you to shoot a rocket you can give two or three seconds for it to land on the opposite side of the map a person can do a rocket and a little bit of mg damage oh sorry rail and a little bit of MD, mg damage so all hell breaking loose here now still pushing from westy because he understands that he needs to make a few frags back and he gets it with Ryle. <laughs> no, this is it. Westy, not much health on him. Oh, I'm very hungry for this Mega. He's going to be clenching so hard. And there it is. <laughs> his patience um, pays off. He, may, he should have dropped there to got the 50 armor and the, time, and the time shards to bring his ability back. Yeah, like, he's got the Mega and he's got the confidence here, but he doesn't have now any he's, armor. Now he's in the open and he's... Yep, oh. I'm not sure what... Okay. <laughs> that opening shot's enough to, to dissuade Mordecai, even though Mordecai, if he thought about it, still had the, the stack advantage. And that's gonna put Westy on equal footing when uh, really there was no need for him to be. No, no, don't. Massive commitment here for Westy. Mordecai has no idea. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful cat. Oh, he's just above him. He hasn't realized either. It's almost yeah, as if he doesn't tell. know where the shot's coming from. Yeah. The sound's just doing you no favors. Great shot, Westy, get out. Railable. Yeah, you don't just want to be standing around available on this map. So he comes to push up the pad, maybe. Yep. Oh no, the double spot for Morty. Rail. I don't yeah, know Westy's where Westy was. He's a play from Western now. Right, he's without invis. Sure, none of he was going to wait for Mega anyway. Yeah. Oh, this is a scary bounce pad to take. Oh, oh Morty turns it around. Faster. I would like to see some LG there from from either player. It's, it's the perfect spot to pull it out. You know. Map still winnable for Westy. Does this need to see? Oh no, he fell down. He's without a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> This, this is absolutely winnable for Westy. Um, he just needs to know. Morty's in a position that he shouldn't be. He's, yeah, uh, but he's Morty. hitting the shots. Mega, Heavy's still not up for <laughs> quite a while. Mega's up next. Oh, Westy just absolutely free to get this. Morty dodges that rocket. Uh, Westy's had his prayers team. answered, basically. Yeah. That rocket I was going to say was going to hit, and it did 52 damage. 
Got no Mortys coming through the telly. Ah, gets oh. denied by that big bloody pillar again. Yeah, we're still playing two duels at once. One against Mordecai and one against the, the big pillar. I was, yeah, we're still really running out of time. Yeah. And especially because he has to give up this heavy. Or maybe not if Mordecai doesn't want it. Mordecai wants to leave it here on a silver platter? Fine, it's Westies. Oh, and Mordecai running the clock down so well. Westie knows he can't push him through the markets. Westie's trying to find him. He's doing all he can. Hits an opening rail. Will he rocket jump up? Rocket jump, no. Yeah, right. no, what he does is fine. He's still um, got time. Mordecai's gonna respawn onto the Mega, but Westy needs to deny him the guns. Probably the rockets. One minute warning. Oh, and Westy's gone the wrong way. He's mistimed the Mega. Oh, that's devastating right now. He's probably... Mordecai should hit a rail onto this heavy. He's... He's just waiting on... Rail area. Oh no, he's moved to Mega. This could be a great catch. Westy... Doesn't quite take the time to line it up like he did. Oh, but Mordecai yeah, into the LG. Oh. Does Westy pick this? He's available. 20 seconds. Westy just gonna go in. Can he do it? Mordecai caught in an awkward situation. Westy, he clicks, he's out of ammo. Uh, oh, dear. I bet you, I got a funny feeling that if there was another second added to that game, Mordecai mm -hmm. would die. Yeah, that that was a that rocket. rocket that rocket was on its way, well, pretty close, I'd say about 50, 60 damage. Yeah, oh, easily. That. Yeah, that, that was a Westy frag waiting to happen. Just came a little bit too late. 2-1 up to Mordecai. That's it, and now we're looking at Molten Falls. Which I believe is Mordecai's pick. We've got Mordecai versus Westy. Mordecai 2-0 up against uh, probably my pick, and I think Murder's pick as well, Westy, to take the series. We have Athena on Mordecai, uh, zipping and zooming, taking all kinds of crazy fights, putting yourself in all kinds of awkward angles, making yourself just hard to hit, and Westy on Anarchy, the fastest, most radical character in the game. Uh, Westy, a massive PQL player, a massive fan of that air control movement, an absolute speed demon. We're getting into this map, Molten Falls, and let's go with Westy off the start, see what the original speed demon can do. Fight. Taking us away on the mega side of the map, I is a, a really nice spawn. Uh, I love, well, potentially getting LG. You gotta be careful rushing over to rail side here. But it looks like, uh, it looks like Westy actually trying to put some pressure down. He knows he can cycle around onto his armor and Come continue back. to cycle around. You've, you've just missed Westy do a pretty radical fast lap of the map. Um, as Anarchy. <laughs> as Anarchy, yeah. It yeah. actually looks like a pretty deliberate route, funnily enough. Oh, these rockets! Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful um, delay in, in between each shot, waiting for Westy to land on the ground again. Yeah, Westy got that little bit of confidence, like, oh, you know, I'll use the, the inject to survive. Oh, ho, 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 denial! Right, so, an obvious delay between the items. Ooh, Westy with these sneaky rails. Really Almost had enough time well. to put the pressure on Mega. <laughs> wow. Just, 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 yeah, it just leaves the, just leaves the scene. They nod at each other. They, they part and go their separate ways. So launched with the jelly. Beautiful rail. <laughs> you can see Westy's not quite sure what to make with that. He was in that direction. Doesn't know how to respond to where to go. Yeah, suddenly he's not going fast in any direction. What's he doing? He's out of there again. Where's he going? He's back. He needs face. 
Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit more than this for Westy to win, right? He can't just rely on going fast and hopping around. He, he needs a little bit more intention, I think. I was about to say the same thing. I thought West is just trying to use the Anarchy Drive Buy solution. Hmm. And it, it's an Oh, look at me! Pool. Million miles an hour shooter rocket. Eh? What? Exactly. Where am I? Can't see me. It's an effective tool, but um, well, for one thing, his speed has been really like. It's not what it used to be, right? It's not. Quite oh, it's definitely easy. not. He feels a lot more stuck in the mud. Mm. Like it's hard to get decent momentum with him almost. Yeah, you've got to have a good read on the item situation to know when to pop your mega. Hmm. Um, oh, this is a nice catch, though. That's what he needs to do, right? Like that was that was a nice little bit of movement to get in there, a nice little bit of wiggle in the air to just make himself harder to hit. I <laughs> like the Mordecai stands there waiting for the guy. Or like something. The yeah, air control is a lot of people off. And it's great when you can Nothing use it like that. When you, yeah, when you know your opponent's trapping out a gun or something and you can get in their face. Uh, when they don't have rockets. And Westy would do so well to get back around to rockets right now. It looks like he's not quite fast enough, but he'll see they're down, so he'll know pretty much exactly where Mort is. I thought Westy was going up the map then. Great rocket. Battle the OGs, or not, Mordecai backing away, very wise, you don't just want to die at an item. Uh, the stacks are actually pretty close, you know, he just needs a rail or a good rocket, and he's going to be set at this mega, but here comes a really, really fast Westy. I was about to say, here comes someone moving at a thousand ups a second. <laughs> yeah, but there's that uh, direct rocket, right? Like, that drive-by pays off in a really major way there. Oh, it's showing us that he can move at the same pace. Yeah, you can't underestimate the speed of the Athena. Especially oh, no, you can't. You just hook above a teleporter and press the swing button, and you come out at 1200 ups. I don't know if it still works quite like that, but well, when I was playing Athena, it did. Oh! Board out here with direct rocket. That was disgusting. Those rockets on the Athena zipline are not easy to land. No, they're not at all. The thing I hate is when you're Athena and you do something and you cop one bit of damage and then your grapple's cancelled. Yep. Where's look at that? Just full on in your face here I come rockets galore. And that's what we need to see from this anarchy. You need to be capitalizing while you're in control, while you can get these form frags. Um I don't think since Westy's started this kind of run that Mordecai has had all three major weapons, right? Like Westy's just been in his face and making sure he and he doesn't get to the next one. Yeah. Oh, he's definitely putting the pressure on now, that's for sure. Look at this charging again. Relentless. Oh, yeah, the rockets are okay, good, but there's just so much stack on Now, West is on his way back to Heavy, mm -hmm. which he collects, and now he knows that Mega's gonna be up soon, no doubt. Morty's left with only a reason to get out and see what he can find elsewhere. West on the prowl again in a million miles an hour. His body blocked him in the doorway, that couldn't have really gone better. Westy's taking a lot to get Ooh, this frag, trade. That could have worked out a lot worse for Westy than it did. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Westy leaving heavy armor, he's got no stack, of course he's gonna die into the pickets. Uh, Mordecai's been hitting those, you know, with his eyes closed all night. Westy, has he saying heavy's up? Yeah, good. <laughs> It looked like a patrol, I was unsure whether he saw it. Oh, Mordecai, a little bit too quick with that rocket. He's taken a bad one in response. Here comes the pressure from the Anarchy. And yeah, it's uh... Like, once Westy gets that little in, he, he is ready. Mordecai can't afford this. He has to get out. Oh, that rocket hurt a lot. Jeez, that was lucky, 17 HP. Yeah, it actually works out well when, when Westy just takes up uh, that Mega, you know, before even going for the small health, so... I actually think I even heard the shotgun sound. Mm. From Mordecai, <laughs> like he's yeah. extremely lucky to get out of that. Ooh. Mordecai on the lucky, lucky side now. 
Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't die there, honestly. But uh, once you've got this, you know, you've got to take it. Really, really scary with the anarchy pressuring coming in. But what if actually maybe he doesn't really have the guns? Another frag a minute. He's chasing. This is one of the things about Westy. He's good with CPMA movement. Mm -hmm. Oh, he is just out. He'll just run this ring. If anything, uh, Mordecai should go to rail now. Right? Because that's where Westy's going. Look at him. There he goes. <laughs> now we just wait. Oh, beautiful. That was that was a clean entrance. Mordecai knows exactly where he is. Westy's jumped before this heavy. Uh, that means he's he's sitting bait. Or a sitting duck even. Well, cancels his hook there as well. Just so tricky. Just enough of a tickle of LG to get it done. And look, so, you know, so we, we need one frag in two minutes. It's perfect. And if Westy wants to, to give this position away. Yeah, can't hit him from a distance. Oh, yeah. So now we need pressure on heavy. Get yourself stacked. Oh, he knew exactly where it Oh, happened. that's so lucky. <laughs> yeah, Mordecai could have easily died there, but um. He, he, he knew where Westy was coming from, right? Oh, uh, he's going to Mega. Not good, yeah, opening 100. To be here. Can you hit the rail? You still. Uh, yeah. oh. He went oh. over to the rail pad. He had could have sat for like two, three seconds waiting for the yeah. shot. But it is what it is. That's it. Mordecai's got a tied game. He's on match point here. Um, he's still looking hot to win this. Oh no, Mordecai. Just oh, the dear. pressure. The pressure coming in from Westy is too much. He doesn't hit anything there. But then suddenly, with no stack, <laughs> you know, just like just a rocket launcher and uh, and a few grains of sand in his pocket, has the direct. <laughs> Westy's so tricky. There's a heavy up. Oh, he's got 40 seconds. He thinks he's left. Yeah, Westy just he's just standing there. Sometimes standing still is the best way to go. Best dodge is no dodge. You may have him. Westy is slipping away. Mordecai on the chase. Mord's close it. We're watching Mordecai on the chase. Oh, he whiffs the rail. He's... What's he doing? Don't, yeah, just Why hit did rockets. he stop? Just hit rockets. GG. No, GG to Westy. We're going into the final map. That was quite an unfortunate chase. <laughs> mm. Oh, it, he was so close. He was on the cusp. As I did say, we could potentially be looking at five maps. Yeah. Either way, we're coming into the map that neither of them wanted to play. This is going to be the final map, the fifth and final decider. Westy versus Mordecai putting quite the show for us here in the amateur grand final. It's all coming down to blood. I'm going to follow Westy off the start. Let's go with Westy off the start. Let's see what he can do. Um, man, who's your, who's your pick for this murder? Who do you think is going to walk away the amateur oh, grand I don't match? have a pick. Three, it's just going to be whatever one, comes out of these spawns. Fight. Oh, and it's a bad spawn pair for Westy, eating that rail right off the bat. Sometimes that happens. Just gotta learn to do with stuff like that. Two exactly. the spawn scenarios. There you go, looking for a bit of setup. Westy's yeah, gotta yeah, be careful nah. though, because he still he knows he's not, he doesn't have the distance to fight. But, Somehow. Bang in your face. That's the second time now Westy's hit those big kind of set and forget rockets. Just let him cook all the way across the map, then uh, Mordecai walks into it at the perfect moment. Rail on the platform. 
They're really satisfying to hit too many people from the Mega. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Alright, and Westy, yeah, just playing quiet here. Sticking towards the uh, historical plasma gun room. The best defensive spot on the map. Moving around. We're looking for a small armor to take, and uh, Mordecai says no. Mordecai definitively says no. In a great position here to take control of the rest of the map. Nice little distraction turret from Westy. Got plenty of time for Mega. Oh, this is a great. Literally have the weaponry though. It's about to run out. Oh. Oh, that's lucky. Yeah, I didn't realize. No rockets, no OG. Um, just flying in space there. Even pull out the machine gun rather than go for the rail damage, you know. For some reason, I don't know how I noticed that, but I did, and he still pulled it off. Right. Beautiful. Don't need a rocket when you got the super shotgun up that close. Exactly. Great start here for Monica. You know, if you can get to a five or six frag margin, that can be that can start to get pretty comfortable, especially if it's early in the game. Like you can really slow things down. Nice turnaround there for Westy. Finally, he gets the kind of scrappy mid map fight that he likes to see. Yeah, I think the turret put him up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Modify that is. Yeah, absolutely. Westy's done a great job of just throwing them out and uh you know, he, he always has an objective. Can't even see him there. <laughs> Great work. They should be the big launch. Alright, so now complete control over the Westy. Just waiting for sound. Must know where he is in the small room. Look for him. Doesn't realise he's left. Oh, he does now. He's on chase. Yeah, and what beautiful Westy defensive knows rockets as well. from Mordecai. Yeah, he's done well actually. I, I think part of the reason Westy's so keen to chase there is that he knows there's a turret in mid, right? So Mordecai is going to have to turn around and chase and deal with it. <laughs> Mordecai's done extremely well to get out of that scenario. Because mm. he lost Westy. heavy. Oh, oh. He's caught him again. Should have really gone back to the room. Yeah, Westy could have actually, uh, once again. Oh, then. Beautiful. Westy took about 300. Yeah. Of armor and health during well, the last few minutes and managed to still die. The thing is, yeah, like, that armor was up that whole time, the one that I just took. Westy could have backed off at any time and taken it, been in a more stacked situation. They, they were fighting over an item that was this, right? Westy's on the prowl. Keep moving. No. Beautiful opening rail. Oh, great. A jewel world out there, too. Yeah, just. I. It, it's interesting when he's railable. Oh no, he's got 100 HP. Never mind. At least he's just waiting for him to commit. Now, what do you know? He's down there. Not anymore. Oh, he timed that extremely well. Yeah, it's good that. Oh, great catch! Back for the shotgun. He's dead. So that every day. Westy probably could have gotten a better rocket out there if he didn't throw the turret. Front of him. And Westy the machine gun. <laughs> wow, actually makes that surprisingly effective. Beautiful rail. Five minute warning. So that's the difference when you realise that you're more. Protected if you go back. Mm. More resources rather than just a 25 HP bubble and a rocket launcher. Oh, you've got to give respect to the dual shotgun. Yeah. It, I don't know how he didn't hit more, honestly. Like, the dual shotgun mm. just shreds. It's it's really sad for Mordecai that, you know, maybe a bit of pressure getting to him in these kind of final moments of this amazing five map series. I remember also that Mordecai has just come from a series yeah. of OPM. He's been playing for a long time. And he's rewarded from just shooting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in the, it's I hear that? 
You can get a lot of damage on the way out of the Beautiful movement by Mordecai to get himself out of that situation. Wes should be shooting a teleporter, if anything, but Morty's waiting for the blood pool regeneration. And he's moved off at a beautiful time too to collect himself mega. Morty looking in a good spot. He's got the 50 to fall back on in the mail room. Given that I was worried after the first map we saw of him that his timing wasn't gonna be on, his timing has been good. It's been much better. Things are getting more desperate for West as we see him, as we see time trickle down. Oh, great for Mordecai. He needs to know he can back off the Mega. Yeah. Oh. Westy again with these Both massive... are in really oh. bad positions. I was about to say that was really good play by Mordecai, but... Oh, no. Oh, dear. That could cost him so much. Rocket to Westy can get around with the heavy. Mm. And shut Morty out. Yeah. Oh, that is a bad time for Mordecai to die. Morty doesn't really have anything to work with. You know, it would be so tragic if Mordecai lost out in this whole series because he mistimed the Mega there. We're going to have to see what he can do to face up into this control. Westy knows exactly where he is. The tribal span is good. Got it out. He got out better without the Mega, which is good. Hmm. Well, okay, getting someone Morty doing on the back foot. He's on the back foot. And that's okay, right? You can play Blood Run really defensively. You can chill out in the top room. Hmm. Um, I'm surprised for opponent when they hit. Now no, he's got the info where he is. Yeah. The important thing is that he doesn't die. For I have sacrificed heavy, but Morty's aware. No. Oh. Too much momentum. Yeah, exactly. You can't get caught in a little corner like that and, and expect to get away with your life. And Westy has the perfect cycle right now. 15 seconds between these items. A minute 30 left in this final Two map. Good idea. Massive dual, dual rockets. Able to get away. I'm surprised Westy can hit so hard with the barrel gun there. Uh, Westy backs away towards Mega. He's gonna sneak onto it just because of that turret placement. Mordecai gonna be kicking himself. Oh, one minute so left. Clutch. Yeah, the deciding match here. Mordecai, two frags down. Let's look on the Mordecai's point of view. It, it's so disappointing to see for Mordecai here. Mm. Don't drop. He doesn't have the guns. I mean, he has the so shotguns, of course, what am I saying? One frag unit, one minute left. He turns around, I talked to Tilly, so he's lost Mega. Drop, drop. Good. And back up. Beautiful, Heavy's up. He can afford to take this roll before Heavy. He doesn't want to get too hard. you about to lose yet. Heavy. You see, he's put his opponent between him and the item. A rail's good, but it's not enough, he can't drop yet. He can't drop here. And, and he realizes he's not. Where he has to push. Oh. oh no. 20 seconds on the clock. Mordecai has one flag <sighs> to make up to pull this. He's gonna be able to get Mega, but game. he has to push in his get pick pick up LG. Oh no, he doesn't get LG. He's gonna have dual wield, dual wield and rockets. That's what it's gonna take right now. He catches Westy. Take him out. Pops the dual wield. Oh Mordecai, you can do this. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed his chance. One more rail. Hey, he wasn't available anyway. There we go. Westy sneaks away with it. The uh, OQS Series 3 Amateur Grand Champion, Mordecai, coming a close, close second place. Well played to both players here. That was a series and a half. That was. We went all five maps too. Yeah, they brought us through all the way. Uh, rail of the century it would have been. I, it wouldn't have fragged him. Westy wasn't... Uh, yeah, he wasn't really. Yeah, he, he wasn't available. But we had a... Uh... 200 damage difference between the two players and only one frag, which speaks for itself. Yeah. This is basically a spawn, so that was incredibly evenly matched. It's a great game to watch. I'd watch it again. All right. Well, that was amateur. What a really entertaining series. Uh, great to see the Mordecai journey just 
bad luck, a few small situations there, and Mordecai would have walked away with that one. That's all it takes, yeah. Just a, a few smaller moments in order to cost you the bigger one. Everything leads up to the next instance of fighting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that is going to be amateur. We're going to see the Challenger Grand Final, Rat Soup versus Shrews. Hopefully these guys can show us five maps as well. I'm Phylum, and I'm here with Murder. Welcome back, guys. As Phylum's just said, we've got Rat Soup and Shrews playing on Blood Run. We have Galena and Eyes and Matchup. Now these guys should provide some pretty ent entertaining frags, dare I say. Yeah, these guys have been going pretty hard at the game. Um, Shrews uh, on Aizen, Ratsuk on Galena. You can't get too much more on Mater than this, really. You know, uh, The Aizen especially, I think, is going to have some really interesting plays happening. I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys can bring out. Um, you've probably played these guys a lot more than I have. What, what's your read on especially this matchup, like this map? Hmm... It's a bit hard to say, really. I guess um, the main thing that we need to take into point is that generally these days, whenever someone picks Galena or Eisen, the initial response is Galena or Eisen. Hmm. I don't think it's been... There has been many matchups lately that I've seen where it hasn't been Eisen versus Galena. Yeah. I would probably pick Galena better on this map, only because the ability to have three totems up and put them in positions where people won't expect. But You can hide them pretty well, especially around the back. Especially that Shrules isn't playing Galena as well. Hmm. Yeah, Shrules is kind of... Whenever I play Shrules, he's pretty much the cheese king, right? Um, he picks Stroke and hits the most bullshit peekers that you don't expect. He picks Galena and hides totems in places that I didn't know existed. Um, uh, what Shrules off start? Shrules? Yeah, I think he's going to have some really interesting uh, turret points here. And so much from Shrews off side. Look, he's got the tribal. Shrews sort of was aware that he could hold him off from Rao with the turret and make his way around to get a shot. Nice. Rat Soup, I think, actually read that information. Ooh. He was able to make his way through the rail. And Shrews has now eaten a totem, which has given Rat Soup information. Ability Look, I think, to yeah. pick up the small run. That was actually a really good equalizer from that first. Um, Tower falls short from where I think Shrews wanted it to land. Yep, Shrews just needs to make sure he gets that mega, which is beautiful. And uh, Rat Soup has the tough job of getting up to heavy and trying not to get pinned with OG. Rat Soup went for his moment. I'm not sure if Freddy has rocket. Oh, I. Yeah. I don't think he did. No. No, yeah, he, uh... So know. Shrew's in a commanding position here. He's about to get Mega if he holds on. Beautiful. And he's got and he's so his way much to heavy. And even tonight, that small armor, if he realizes. Still got time. Still got time to go back. I'll stand back. Look, he's just commanding the middle of the map instead. Uh, it seems like uh, Red Soup doesn't want it either. Nobody wants it. No one wants any small arms. <laughs> Red Soup, narrowly avoiding that too. Um, Shrews could afford to deny this. Beautiful, I love it. I find denying uh, armors on this map. Oh, what a midi! Perfect. It is the perfect read on what he wanted to do. Yeah, I find denying armors on this map. Molten and corrupted keep are probably the most important. Hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes it works. Nice Should total placement. Turn position. Yeah, work. you pretty much just have to expect it. Mm. Uh, on this map, every teleporter. Heavy up for taking from Shrews. Shrews could actually cycle around through the Shrews Robinson. finally got a turret where I think he wanted it. Yeah. Yeah, that one's really awkward to do with. Like, you have to peek all it's the way over to see it's, it. It's partially protected. Mm. And it hits two different directions. You can hear him coming. Ooh, beautiful nail and rail. 
nice. Gets in, gets he's out. He's way back in. He's trying to get his way back in. See, this is a bit iffy, but he's caught him that like, Shrews just standing on that platform. Uh, Shrews thankfully has a turret to get himself out of dodge. Shrews knows to get rid of that armor for him. And ready hits a rail. Nice. Nice. So the reason I wish he spent his time that he hasn't spent putting presence on the map with putting totems mm -hmm. around the map, which has given him ability to get overstack. Great catch here. And it looks like uh, Rasu, oh, if he can, if he can land that Wow, finishing a lot shot. of jumping around and dodgy shots there. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of white snow. Um, yeah, that was, that was just scrappy. That was just scrappy. Ratty really, Ratsu really should have won that. Oh, hands no doubt about it. Yeah. No doubt about it. Batch Bulls has to make something of it. Uh, and there we go. Oh. Nice throws. Really powerful nest of totems up here as well. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's exactly what you want to happen. Yeah, Ratsu just has a great read on that. So not only did he get the overstack from it, he then got the damage. Mm. That's it. Things can't really go much better than that for you. He can... Since they could trap Mega then. Nice little turret trap. Feel free zone trap, basically. Yeah. Oh yeah, taste of his own medicine. And yeah, just a little bit too aggressive by Ratsuit there, you know, we taking that damage, uh, flying around that corner to your opponent. Shrews dancing in that doorway. Uh, again, getting a little bit lucky by relying on Ratsuit missing some things, but gets away with it. Starting to wonder what how Reddy's starting to think. Because he, he's done a really good job doing it with now, he's just sort of, you know, he's running into this room for no reason. When he had no room that he could fall into. It's a piece of LG. Exactly, there's nothing. Well, that's what dealt well for him, so. He gets onto the armor eventually. Um, but he's just gonna go straight for LG here. It's gonna be dicey. Yeah. Oh, he might have picked it up then. Yeah, it was a bit weird. He catches himself for the He's actually starting to show a bit more composure now. He's starting to sit more in the middle of the map. I want some more information. Throw his turret down instead of jumping down himself. Oh. So he's aim shake a fair bit there. Yeah, that just it just felt shaky. It, it didn't, didn't want to connect. Didn't want to be. Lovely uh, overstack totems he's got down here. He's gonna make pushing for reasons that don't make sense though. Yeah, exactly. What's he pushing for there? He should be moving back around to cut him off from the armor, rather than trying to shoot him before he makes his way up the pad. I mean, Shrews was still sitting there. He didn't hear the pad. Who's that? Here we go. Perfect cut off time. Beautiful rocket. Yeah, I really like that. Oh, he's got him here too. Yeah, Ratsu's, Ratsu's aim is looking really smooth here, really composed. Um, he's, he's doing a great job with this shot. I believe he won the... Uh, open... Bracket at QC Bash, I think. And uh, people were skeptical even then, saying that his aim was way too good for someone in open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can imagine that. He's a team uh, he beat, player. He beat me in a quick leg duel the other day. <laughs> He's good at Quake Live too. He's, he's, he yeah. does have really strong aim. Yeah, I, I underestimate Especially if he's it. relaxed, I think. Hmm. If you get him unnerved, then that's when his crack starts showing. Yeah, exactly. He's still, well, got, he's still got a lot to learn with the way that Quake flows and all that sort of thing. Exactly. He, he like he's standing arrow. next to a turret right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he beat me on arrow walk. I don't think he beat me on arrow Nice. Like, and then you see stuff like that. like. Doesn't matter who you are, I can't do anything against it. And Struzes? Is it where he is? 
can't just go to play that slow, go to play that quiet. I don't know why rat soups come around this way. Um He should have rocket went back out and rock jumped up. Yeah. He's got the stack, he's got the stack totem. He's more than entitled to be offensive. <laughs> really well hidden totem there. Uh, Shrules has no idea. Wait. Perfect. Sound. Perfect. And this is a great moment for Ratsu to be standing here because there's nothing on the map, right? There's no reason mm. to stick your neck out. All you're going to do is catch Shrules and get that initial damage. May have sacrificed heavy here. I mean, if he can get the damage, it's okay, right? Sometimes but... it's worth evading heavy just to get the pin. But oh no. Oh, he's. he's... I think. I think it's yeah, more than happy to play the defensive game now. One minute. With a minute on the clock, you know, it's okay. Great use of nails. Honestly, if you're getting rid of. If you're playing power. Yeah, use nails. And I guess if he runs down the clock for another 10, he will. 20 seconds, yeah. Yeah, this this should be pretty much over. Shores has to rocket jump there. Rat Soup can just. Yeah, just stand here. Doesn't need to go anywhere. He'll win. Rats are like armor just hit himself out. Yeah. Although, mm. No, nah, just stand here. Just don't move. This is not enough help. Just stand here. You, you, you can, uh, what, what's the Jibo? Right? The Jibo oh, yeah, the JJ. Stand, stand at bottom, Pelly. So this is going to be a big confidence boost for Rat Soup. Mm. <laughs> Goes for the cheeky pummel and got it. Not the frag, yeah. but... Definitely feeling confident there. Mm. And yeah, look at that damage difference. Uh, especially when it comes to the railgun, hey. Rat Soup just, just dominating there. Hmm. But yeah, the LG damage as well. I mean, our shrooms only can Generally, you find a lot of people that play Galena tend not to do as much damage. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're hmm. relying on the trades and stuff. Well, they're relying on the ability to basically use their ability, which is throw down a totem. So, hmm. to continue to restacking themselves. And then when you take into the account how many times we saw Rat Soup being able to use Overstack. Mm. Still, kind of doesn't really add up. As when we also take into account the fact of um, how well Shrules is known to have played Galena and has cheeky totem spots and all that sort of thing, you'd expect him to be someone that would be aware of trying to find those totems. Yeah, understanding how Galena actually works. So I'm not too sure exactly what's going through Shrules' mind right now, and. Maybe a bit of whether, nerves. Whether he's, yeah, whether he's put off. Right, so who are we going to start off with? Let's start with Shrews. Shrews is not that cool, that's fair. Exactly. Uh, and Shrews is playing Anarchy. He's probably going to have a bit of a start. He's got a swaggy snowflake skin. Alright, Shrews using his ability straight up to get to Rocket first. Applying additional damage to Rocket. Yeah, this one actually be, uh, good damage with his ability then. I was surprised, yeah. I was surprised he got so much. And he's managed to pick up the small armor and the time shards. But he's in a really good spot here actually. Nice. There we go. Yeah, I mean Shrooms, he was in a position where if he got caught out, there was nowhere for him to go. Well I mean that's one thing I forgot to do against Fishy, which was use the fireball. I was just pressing mm -hmm. pressing button ones. Yep. Rat Soup's got to respect the, uh, the snowball. I was only pressing F once to win, not twice. No, yeah. <laughs> nah, that, oh, oh, oh. gotta hit it that second time. That's when you get the big money. See, Raddy's hitting nice. his shots. Yeah, Raddy's aim is pretty good. Which, which is putting Shrews off. Shrews wasn't expecting this aim ever. Really. Shrews. So when I play Shrews, right, his aim. Because you gotta, you gotta think though, like, like Mike is known for having good aim now, <laughs> and Shrews and Mike play a lot. Yeah. They're like jewel buddies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I see them all the time. Um. 
so is Shrew's aim, do you think, isn't quite as up to par like other people who no. did a bit more lately? No. Interesting. Like, my LG has gotten better, but I have to be, yeah, I don't know. Things have to be right for my LG to be good. I can't mm. just jump in and LG the shit out of everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot more circumstantial for me as well. Like, I'm not someone like, you know, fish or yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone like that, they can just run in and LG the shit out of everybody. Ooh. See, Rassip trades pretty well there, but he was just at such a stack disadvantage to begin with. Hmm. Uh, but actually, it's equalized the stacks pretty well. It's really weird how, how those machine guns. Here comes rules. Now, nah, Ratsoup's in the perfect spot, right? Just stand there and jump. The rock I'm isn't pushing connected. back off Mega. Yep. Uh, and then, yeah, you just yeah let, gracefully land on Mega. Beautiful opening. Ooh, the flame. Yeah, Ratsoup's done well here. Mm, he's using the flame strike really well. Ah, oh, what a raid. Yeah, great control. And he's rewarded. And... Nice. Gets Mega, and a free kill, and no damage. Done to him. Kinda learned to turn around from the... <laughs> oh, he's got a... he's got a fight a little bit better than... See, I find the problem is then, to a point, is when Shrules left to then cut him off from moving into LG, he made himself too predictable. Yeah. That's what he was doing. He should have actually stayed and committed with the fight. Exactly. Or faked going to there and then pulled straight back. <laughs> All right, so now he's been trapped. Both have got heavy machine gun though. Shrews would all help fall back on. Rats do running into this room. He doesn't have the stats. Wasting his ability. Yeah. Doing that everything is... he can to get health. He even missed a health bubble too, I believe. Shrews, I love that he comes into mid there to cut Rats off before that one with the heavy, right? He's, he's thinking just... about the frag. He's, he's holding mid. All oh, these rockets though. Holy crap. I mean, how, like, Ratsoup traded that from such a huge disadvantage. You gotta be happy with that for Ratsoup. Oh, yeah. He's hitting good LG and, and managing to hold Strules off when he is trying to make an advance. Yeah. Uh, but even, like, small things, like, Strules jumps in that doorway, and Ratsoup sees that as a chance to just get that same thing. Right? Like, Ratsoup's really capitalized. Strules is in trouble. So this is the thing I find that people have problems with on some maps with saw lag and anarchy is because of the movement they want to always move around like that. Yeah, once you get... And all it takes is for you to get hit with a direct rocket and then you come to a complete stop and you do not move. Exactly. Shrews has managed to, manage to take heavy. Has misread where Ray's going. Wants to hold him off from Mega. Yeah, see, like, Rasoop's really committed here, and I like the idea, but he's got to hit the entrance damage if he wants to commit. Is that special timing came into play? Mm -hmm. In like, like second. block work. So I knew he could hold a position enough to hold Rasoop off in order to stop him from falling down, and then came through and collected it from under his nose. So this is where I think we're going to see Red Soup starting to fail. And Strul yeah. starting to pay attention to the actual information within the game. Exactly. Red Soup might be thinking that his aim's going to get him out of most of the situations. Oh, see, yep. He still see, hasn't is... picked anything up. And Strul's is just running through, cop on the lot, picking the next thing, the next item up. He's not even going to get a small armor. Like, this small armor isn't up for a while. Mm. The other small armor, Strul's is is there. Um, Rassu can't get in on it. Shrews the opening damage. Shrews should know he can just, yeah, like, strong arm this Mega. Pushes him off the item, moves to the next one. Root Soup still got nothing to work with. 
At the very least, Rat Soup should know. He's got less than, he's got less than starting to start. And now he's dead. Oh no, it, it even. Um... Strules really then should jump to the health bubble instead of using his ability. Yeah. More conservative. Understanding that you can take 20, 20 health as opposed to using your ability. Exactly. I think he might have wanted the speed as well, but um, mm. he didn't really get the kind of like close play that he wanted. I didn't mean that doing just a very slight rocket jump. Exactly. Oh, their engagement. Oh, it's Shrews a pity that. Sweating it out. Yeah, it's a pity that rocket doesn't land for that soon, actually. Oh, that's shrew. a weird rocket jump. What are you? Yeah, what? Wow, that's gonna give Rakuten a total life. If Ratsu holds onto this Mega, he's on position. Shrews can't hit his rocket. As Ratsu double back, he has. Shrews, he's got the gauntlet out, he's not happy with that one. I'm um, just. No rockets a... now either. Yeah. And he didn't move to the top to get rockets. He's gonna have to rely on that the whole way. And here's Ratsu with the trap. Oh. Uh... <sighs> wow. That's disappointing when that happens. Yeah. That happens a lot to me. That's hard to pick again. Up a couple of times. Yeah. Flame strikes works well. Burning is uh, a bit true. off from hell. Oh no. Nice catch here as well. Good use of position. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. Important that Shrews trades that one out. Uh, let's see what Ratsoop's doing here. He's got two minutes to make up two frags. It's very, very good. Is it the LJ that's going to start and rocket? Look, this is good damage. Close to that shotgun, now let's try. Yeah, you've got to respect the shotgun. Let's stay on that. I was going to say, don't get close to it. What's he doing? He's What's for, he doing? He's looking for the tick damage with the pump. No. Like, either good. that or he's accepted defeat already. He can win. He can still win this. Mm. Oh. Not with the stack screws he's got now, I guess. It'll be hard, right? It's this kind of. Especially when like, that happens. Yeah. And Shrews it knows his spawns, see? Yeah. It only takes one reset though, right? It only takes like a few nails or something. Right? Every frag now, and every second now, and every item now makes it more impossible. But like, when he pulled that gauntlet out, the game wasn't over. Mm. That's how it would be. It probably would be, but he, he could come back. And when you're in the grand final, you've got to believe that you can come back. Oh, of course you do. You gotta have that fire Every inside you, mate. Like. like that. Yeah. You see? Pushing nail again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, like, Shrews, you know, he's a bit of a So he, he's. He, watch, and then goes to Rocket. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, or whatever. Or not. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? See what I mean? Yeah, see? I was right, yeah. Yeah. Um. I think Shrews understands a lot more of that aspect than what Rat Soup does. Hmm. Being able to force spawns and where people are jumping and spawn. Uh, now the next map is gonna be DM6. So we're gonna have Doom vs Slash. And uh, Slash on DM6, if Shrews has been practicing it, that's mm. pretty hard to counter. Should be fun. It's gonna be nuts. So no, no real amazing stats out of that game, apart from the hundred percent from both players with the soup shotgun. <laughs> wow, and that's Red a little bit. Getting a bit more out of it. Decent chunk of damage. Um, Shrews with the rockets. Hmm, forty-three percent. That's, that's a pretty that's good. big difference in rocket damage. Mm. If Shrews is playing a six slash, it's hard to see the Doom having one. I don't remember Shrews the Slash isn't toxic. Three, slash. Two, yeah. One. Fight. Alright, so with Shrews straight to rail. Alright. Nice for the delay, yep. Yeah, nice. Takes rocket while he can. No? Oh no. It's real on a rocket. Would... Yeah, Shrew I would like to see him rocket though. Get what you can while you can. Oh, someone's committed to the other side of the map. Oh, <laughs> it sticks his head out. Nice little bit of damage. Here comes the slash dominance. Yeah. The ability to move in front of you at a higher level. 
and rain down damage. So looking for damage on heavy here. Not even sure I could see him then, so. Good rocket safe and ready, to be honest. Exactly. Uh, Shrews, I'm sure I hate him. him. Shrews make a lot of these jumps pretty easy. You can at least put the time in slash. Oh, Shrews. He has the rocket perfectly lined up his feet and it just does no damage. So, Ratsu, the door's open for him to just come in and pressure. Shrews connects with none of these rails. And uh, yeah, if Ratsu's hitting the, the rails onto the. It's not that he hit there, but um, you know, Shrews missing a few, a few as well. Oh, Shrews. He says a board. Surprised Ratsu was more prepared there. The Ratsu's rockets in this fight are just sick. It's got to be that pressure. Yeah, it does come through. I mean, even even though he took that first rocket, it's just such sick rocket fighting. Maybe he's a TF2 player. Exactly. Yep, super shotgun, too good. Seems like the stack deficit's playing a big difference in the game here right now. Yeah. Taking like, two rails or a rocket and a rail and you're dead. Starting exactly. with no armor. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, bit of like, movement stuff up. You have to make up for the deficit with some pretty flashy plays of slash, right? It, 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 that pressure's on you. Hmm. Oh, he is now. Matsu just gets away. You know, make sure you get those small armors. Uh, Rat Soup is just gonna be stacked. This is gonna be able to get Mega. This is a rough position for Shrews to be in. Beautiful rocket. Nice. He's dead. Oh. Oh. Beautiful positioning though, with the shots. And we'll be rewarded here. Catching shrews off trying to get the lower items where he thinks it's safe. Well, we all think it's safe a lot of the time. <laughs> so now, will history repeat itself? <laughs> I think so. If shrews wants to, to try and play this again two times in a row. But he knows he can just put himself over there. Yeah. Thankfully, shrews a little bit more conservative this time. A little bit more willing to just run away. Oh, Raddy, he was close. He was so close to getting that. Don't want to leave this heavy up too long. And Shrews. And doesn't quite get the damage, I think he's going for that. He doesn't really get the pin, you know? <laughs> oh! Stuck on each other's oh heads. Yeah, they're bombing. Oh, nice roll there. Sick exit. Yeah. That was actually good for him to hit that rail, considering how really... <laughs> um, wow. Mm. Takes the time to type. I mean, hey. Uh, it's a good way to break your focus on the game. Sounded like he's quite confident now. Yeah. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe he has an auto hockey script set up. It's iconic. Um, it was really bizarre how that ended, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, that... Stuck on a pad, low health, rockets, every weapon available, and then just both your scat. Yeah, it shouldn't have happened. Alright, Shrew's in a better position here now than Rat Soup. He's got heavy. Is he gonna be able to do... Oh, oh look at that, jumped no. onto the pillar. Still, Ratty is returning the shots though. Mm. But still died. Yeah, so even though Shrews has got the Mega, he doesn't really have much armor. Um, it's it's really interesting that he takes the route to that low armor there, because he can actually cycle back around now. And he can Shrews literally blasted him. Yeah. Nice conservative movement by Ratsu. Only, mm. well, don't shoot yourself unless you need to. He's done a good job with knowing. Shrews knows he's got. Ooh. Yeah. He's got access to everything now. 
Ratsit's done a really great job of knowing where Shrew's gonna be at any given moment. Oh, that's LJ from ready. Oh, beautiful. Ready's sitting on 39% LG right now. Struels just shoves oh. himself into trouble. Yeah, I mean, no stack. Brad um, Sweep even shooting his dead body, making sure he's dead. <laughs> making sure he stays down. <laughs> Alright, so Ready needs to move on. Yep, he's got position on heavy. Struels looks like he's gonna go try and get round, they would maybe deal a shot. Red suit left, only just realizing that heavy was up. And now he's gonna come through banana. Oh tickle. Yeah, it really doesn't like it kinda goes through his legs. A little delay uh makes all the difference there for Shrew's getting on the mega. Red suit's actually playing really smart right now to be honest. Yeah. <coughs> well, I mean look, he's he's just sitting up the top of the map. Well that's you. Um... Struels just isn't hitting these oh. shots, which is what I've been doing lately. Yeah. Getting someone jumping at you in clean air and you just miss. Exactly. You've got to connect. You have to. Especially someone like Ratsuk, who knows they have good aim and wants to bully. Oh... He's turned into Westy for a few shots. <laughs> this comes a point where you're... It's hard to fight yourself mentally when you miss mm. shots. Oh, exactly. You can set yourself up as much as you like to be safe, to like, you know, be able to back away if you miss shots, but there comes a point where you have to hit. Especially if you want to win. And again, like Ratsu, like he can just do this and leave. Stick around. He even stuck around a bit longer than he needed to there. Um, but yeah, just get the health bubbles, get up. It's perfect. He's gonna stay ahead and he's gonna win if he plays like this. Now, right now, the heavy's up, but Ratsuk isn't there. He's getting the most important item on the map, the OG. I love how he jumps in the doorway there. Mm. Um, again, like. Avoiding rocket damage. Did just fight the map. No, he's out of there. Mega's up. Where is he? GG. Perfect. He can run the clock down like this for another minute and a half, I'm mm, Just sit there. The important thing is that he doesn't die, right? Once he dies and loses these guns, this style gets so much harder, he needs to chill. Just chill right here. Now let's actually swap over to Shrews, uh, and see how he's going to try and chase this down. Uh, what can he do against the overwhelming might and just smart defensive plays of Ratsuk here? I don't think he can do anything, mate. He's already behind the marker. He's trying to play catch up, checking all the positions that he may have been in. And he's already left them. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> nice. Classy finish. Yeah, that's uh, pretty cheeky. <laughs> to stand next to the teleporter and when he comes through, hit you with a point blank. Alright, that's gonna put Ratsuk on match point here. One more map <laughs> to win it. I uh, can see both of them have accepted the score result. Yeah, oh yeah, they're just, they're just having fun. <laughs> uh, sometimes this is the most enjoyable part. Exactly, this is where you get the highlights. Yeah. <laughs> The bet, we've got double or nothing on the bet. Well then, ready winning in fashion, dare I say. 9 1 on Blood Covenant. 45% LG. Look at that damage difference. Shrew's hitting 50, uh, 1.5k damage. Like, what can you do with that? You can pick up all the megas, all the small armors in the world, but if you're not getting the damage, you're not getting the frags. And Blood Carve is generally a pretty damage heavy map. Given mm. the distance and ability to rail and heavy machine gun and drop on your opponent. And I understand that, you know, the distance between items that your opponent wants to gather from spawn 
there's definitely an ability to shut them off. Uh, what is our next map? Yeah. Our next map is going to be Molten. Visor versus Ranger. Interesting. Okay. So that's going to be... Um, I think that'll be a lot closer than this matchup was. Just by the merit of the characters being closer. You yep. have on Visor. I think Visor for Ratsuk is really sick. Uh, I think that's just going to complement everything he's been doing really well. Mm. And then Ranger for Shrules again. Like, he can get cheeky with the Maybe supplement some of the shots he hasn't been hitting in the last one. Here on. We are going to watch Shrules, the man at the disadvantage. Uh, and Ranger, which is a lot more explosive. Than Ranger, so. Exactly. There's more cheeky plays. There's more, more you can do off the spot, just in general. Uh, we're watching Shrews right now trying to get himself on the railgun and he does so for free. If he can get a shot off, that's going to be really significant. Uh, because, yeah, Rasu let him get on the rail. Nice rails for Rasu. Just got well. of these little peekaboo rails. Mm. Like, oh, there, bang. Like I like what Rasu's doing as well. He stands, he looks, he waits, then he mm. says, nah, I'm just going to take my item. But there was potential there to get some damage. I like what Shrews does as well though, right? He goes and listens, he uses the exit. So, some smart plays from both players, they give each other a lot of respect. Because just like your next door neighbor's base, you can hear things through walls. Oh, don't even get me started. Oh, I'll get you started, don't you worry. I've had some very, uh, very neighbors last night. Or maybe the night before. It, very interesting sound. I won't, I won't, I won't say any, I won't go into detail on PG-13 stream, but I'm sure you can use your imagination. Yeah, I can, don't worry, I've got a good one too. Um, right, I did. Ratsuk into, into position on heavy. This is weird, this is just, heavy, yes. Just sitting in the spot. <laughs> yeah, um, thankfully, I mean, Shrew's not too concerned, he's gonna let him have it. Oh, he's put, oh, oh, semi-pushing, is he pushing? Is he not? Yes, he is. Oh, he's got two health. Wow. Uh, yeah, Rasuk just all the way through that doorway. <laughs> lucky. And a good thing for Shrews is now is that he's got all the health for the time shots until Brody comes through. Brody he wants the armor. Rat, Ratsuit wants the armor. Yep. Shrews finally making Both some damage here. Shrews isn't anymore. Ratsuit isn't anymore. And Shrews, Shrews has in a better position. The armor should come up for him, right? It like, spawns before Mega, I believe. Yeah. I think. Or it might be the other way around. Leaves it up. Just he gets just out. Too passive. Yeah, he gets no doubt. Mm. Well, his orb's back up now, which is good. Again, maybe waiting for the orb to an item. That's, that's fair. Oh no, misses an, a rail at a pretty crucial time. It wasn't bad, OG. Looking for those big traps up close, but. Yeah. Well, yeah. Killing suicide. It's a murder. It's a classic murder suicide. Hmm. All right, again. Nice these rays. Glitch rules gets heavy. He really needs. Yeah. He's got the time shards over, which will replenish his orb. Hmm. Now he should now he can make a move to rocket. I should have heard voice, uh, not voice, sight. You know, hearing voice and hearing sight don't really go hand in hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, the antonyms. It's fine. Uh, again, yeah, Ratsuk just needs to swing in hard here. Not that hard. <laughs> I guess it's the same as that saying, I see what you're saying. Exactly. Mm. Um, <laughs> I think, yeah, Ratsuk, like, he needed to, uh, for a shot, look for an exit rail or something, but not just fly into his face. Like, once he has the Mega, you're gonna lose that play. That was good patience by Rapsuit there. Mm. Had no idea of where he was and didn't hear him move anywhere else. Oh. Again, the trade works well for Rapsuit though. Mm. Like, they're just holding angles. Now, this isn't a good position to be in for Rapsuit right now, because Heavy's up and he's, he's not in position for it. No, he can't make his way there fast enough. As 
saw that. Shrew's lucky not to throw himself off the map there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, it was calculated. I've done that a couple of times and then been like, what? Another. Oh. I don't want to pull off. Yeah, again, right? So just ready for a rail here, and then he backs away. Don't stand too close. Pushing when he shouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah, like, what does Ratsu have to gain here? And he's put himself in a position where there's nowhere to back away to. He can get Mega. Five minute warning. But the pad's gonna be his weak spot. Get yeah. Mega and get out the other way. Again, it's great by Shrooks. Yeah, no, because you saw your opponent. Yep. Wow. Seems like Shrooks heavy out of it. Just doesn't expect that at all. Mm. It's good for Rat Soup to have gone the other way after using the pad. Which has now given him position on Mega, which Shrooks did have. Mm. But he got paranoid. Exactly. Alright, so now Shrews needs to apply. No. Oh. He needs to get out himself. His entrance rails are just so common. Nice. Beautifully done, to be honest. So yeah, now he's rewarded with heavy. Shrews is gonna try and. Oh, have a deal. Um, yeah, like. Ratsuk's been hitting the aim, like he can counter that just with the G. I actually think Shrew's got Mega though. Oh, he got it. Yeah, Neither can I, it happened so fast. Yeah. I just blinked and it was over. Exactly, I'm pretty sure it was Ratsuk, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, maybe then he wouldn't have needed the HP levels. I, it was weird, it was weird. Shrew's running to angle, Ready, you can hear him. Ready, he peeks and hits the shot, oh. he hits another one. Hits it. Oh, nearly knocks him off! <laughs> That's three dead straight rails there from Ratsu. This guy's using the main bot. Yeah, these are such nice shots. Like, this this is how you come back. He's hitting 57% rail. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to have an answer, right? Like, you've just got to hit rails back. More so than Shrews is doing now. That's a nice one to hit. He's still got some ground to make up, though. He's still yeah, got exactly. control to under Pat. Stop watch. Down Pat, rather. And denying all the smaller items. So as he chisels away at Shrews, Shrews has no way to recuperate himself. Stop watch. So surely the small arm is going to be up soon. Especially after that mega being taken, you generally assume. Yep. Right, so he's in a little bit more of a better position to at least be able to hit some damage on a major item and then get out even if he does return. Back hit some return damage. Ratsoup, I think, got a little bit ahead of himself there. He was expecting to come, and he didn't. And now Shrews has equalized the stack, because I, like, I think largely because Ratsoup was still getting laid onto that item and didn't have any room to hit damage. Oh, very important to hit that before the escape. Mm. This is coming down to the wire now. Shrews is playing for everything he's got. Yeah, and for his tournament life, for his chance at uh, once in a lifetime greatness. This fourth team Quake Champions tournament. Wow. Even stacks out of that fight. But critically, Mega's up. who's gonna fall? Who's gonna die? To Mega. <sighs> Again, it's just even. <laughs> they can't break the stalemate. I think I think right, using, using, a wall, uh, using a wall hack, sorry. Sorry, I was trying to I was trying to make a joke there. I thought I was broke, but I kind of kind of flubbed it a little. Momentarily using a wall hack. Yeah. Toggled on. About every 45 seconds. <laughs> Depending on how many time shots he picks up. Um nice rail for Shrews to hit there. That's gonna He's absolutely him. ready to rip into bits now. He needs to know that too. Yeah, it's, it, is he confident with it? You should hear the damage sound, mm -hmm. all the pain noise, and is lost to where he went. Yeah, he's more interested in the item at the end of the day. Ratsu can't be here. 
Oh, no shrews dropping down straight into all that OG before the mega. Oh, uh, no. Dear. Oh, no. That's such a disaster for shrews. That is, uh, wow. I was surprised Ratsu dropped so aggressively for it, but before that mega, yeah, like that. I'm that just was... gonna say GG. I think that might be GG. Ratsu can run the clock. That down. was pretty. Yeah. Let's let's watch Shrules. Even if Shrules has the means, does he have the mental fortitude? The trade comes out. Ratsu has a small armor behind him. Shrules has to chase up these stairs. Can he do it? He's gonna come around a long way. He's got Mega. He just has to go. He's found him. Oh, he's got him! He's good. He got him! And we've gone to a sudden death. Holy crap! Is Next he gonna cut him off at LG? How good's Ratsu's LG? Oh, but Ratsu with the damage! Oh, Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, Shrew. Oh my god. Jesus, what a way to finish. I mean, Shrew should have won that fight, right? Even with that health. Yeah, with the sheer charging and... What... Yeah. Mm. That's just that's just that aim that Ratsu has, you know, the, the, the better aim throughout the whole series. Holy crap. Yes. Holy crap indeed. That was... Jesus. The, what right. a way oh, to finish. Congratulations, Soup. Yeah. What a way to finish. Hello and welcome. It's Mix05 here with the Four Seasons Gaming Oceanic Quake Series 3 Elite Grand Finals. This is the wrap of a seven week competition, and I am co casted or joined, sorry, by. Phylum. How are you doing, mate? Hello. I am so excited to see this matchup. Super keen to see um, a new OQS champion. Obviously, we had um, Dan first season, Steve second season, and Dave runner-up both seasons, and Dave's not in this comp. It's an Aku. Sorry for those who don't know who Dave is in the QPL. Um, Zanaku's not playing. Dan's not playing. Steve's is not playing. We've got a new champion. And like we were saying, I think it's Knight's opportun best opportunity to get an elite um, grand final, like elite champion status under his belt. Yeah, it, the field's never been more open for him. Um, it, it's a really good opportunity to have someone you rise up and, you know, challenge a Titan like Python. Yeah, I'm going to hit the start button here. Yeah, um, you know, I, I met Knight in person uh, in 2018 at BAM. He flew over from uh, Western Australia. His dad came over with him because he was like 16. Uh, and yeah, like just meeting him in person, seeing his passion, seeing that grow over the last, you know, almost two years uh, and seeing how much has improved, how much time he's put into the game. I said earlier, he's been on with Chug, just like anytime I look at Spuddy's Discord, they're in a voice channel together and they're just grinding. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knight has definitely put in the hours. Like, as I was saying to you before, Knight has to walk away tonight saying, I, yeah, he's young for sure. Uh, Owen, yeah. Didn't you meet him? Oh, no. Yeah, you were at the... QC bash, dude. Is yeah. he 18? He's 18 now. Murder He'd be 18 now, yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, Knight's been a contender in the elite division for, like, at least the last sort of couple of tournaments that we've had in QC. Um, He's definitely been, you know, not doing as well as now, which is why it's so interesting to see, you know, we haven't really seen him play in a while like how uh, against really good opponents how can he do mm. yeah it's it's the perfect time to test himself um picking clutch here on this first map you know knight uh he he really values his clutch he's a really strong clutch player he's put a lot of time into it and python on athena the best python seen character play a lot of athena we have seen him play a lot yeah, and every time it's terrifying. For people who maybe don't know, yeah, Python is, you know, just like the old the old hat god of Australia. You know why you know why? Like Python's obviously got wicked rockets, right? But with Athena, it's like you get to see his rail angles. And mm. he hits he hits really good vertical angles. If you ever watch Python aim with the rail, he's a trace railer, not like a flick railer like a Steve or a Dan. So he has a really interesting, smooth aim when he's in the air falling, man. He's super smooth. So just pay attention to the way that he goes. Like that, <laughs> right? I, I'm on Python off the start. Um, yeah. just to, just but to you know what's the scary the part? It's like, I, like, his rockets is his best weapon, but his rail has always looked so tracy, like so smooth, man. He's mm. just, he's always aimed like that, even in Quake Live, even in um, Quake 3 as well. 
Well, we're hearing about we're hearing about a Athena clutch matchup with the Ra the great Rafa and the great Razy. We get <laughs> comparisons already between these two boys. Still, not a lot of action happened. These guys are killing each other out. Yeah, and especially like the Athena has to give space to the clutch, right? Yeah. You can't get caught out. You can't get caught out by the shield. And Knight has been really uh, like cautious holding onto the shield because he has to. Yeah. Great rocket from Python there. That's going to keep Knight at bay. Knight just has to keep playing these low positions. Actually. I mean, he's got the shield in his... No, he's just used I'm the shield. I'm going to go around tonight. You can see how far back he's standing with the clutch to deny the rail angle from rail. That's insane. I didn't even know that was a thing until just then. He's so far back that he can't be railed from the rail platform. And then he uses the clutch movement to quickly get out. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, you can't underestimate how sure fast... Common knowledge, by the way. I'm sure I'm just blowing this <laughs> up. Like, it's some amazing trick Knights has come up with. But, um, no, nah, it's just... Yeah. I don't get that no, always pay attention to that stuff, you know? From an analytical point of view, like, if there's a trick on the map, Knight and Chug will have worked it out, you know? And yeah, oh, I, I Hodgie, love... Oh, Hodgie, mate. Oh, Jesus, dude. And I was like... I was like, he's railable, he's railable. He's gonna get an angle, he's gonna get an angle. Oh, no, he doesn't! <laughs> Sorry, well, let's talk about uh, the great league grandpa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll there, goes, there goes the shield for Knight. Again, two shield uses, and neither of them Python has even been looking at Knight for. Yeah. Uh, more, Knight popping at more of a safety. And one of the things Knight has to really be aware of here is that you are playing, you know, Python, a player with such a reputation. Oh my and such god, a legacy. dude, Knight's hitting. They are so important rails, man. Because mm. if he misses one of those rails, Python stays and gets the kill there, and the heavy. Like, uh, I don't know how Knight ended up in that position, but, like, he had to hit those two rails or he was dead there. Yeah, and, like, Knight has a lot of confidence in his railgun. He actually plays with a ridiculous... Oh, oh. my god, dude! Pop. Oh, the... Yeah, the that's prediction insane is insane. Read, man. That's so... That's disgusting, He's got the shield. Dude. He can just charge into this. He knows Python's used at least two hooks there, right? So, like, this is oh. his... Oh, he's at half a second too late on the rail angle. Oh, you gotta feel sorry for him, man. He's doing his. Oh, great shot. Oh, from Python. Beautiful shot. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. Python in these positions, man, he's not, you know, it's not unfamiliar territory for him to be on the back foot at all. Yeah, even when he's out of control, even when he's, like, lost momentum, Python still yeah, finds still creative scary. angles. Yeah, it's still scary. Here we go. Oh, man. this is the catch. Good LG. Both players. And, yeah, well, that's. Exactly. Oh, actually, I was going to say, Python has to respect the, that Knight could still kill his man. Yeah, and, and this is actually good for Knight because the Heavy's coming up first. Unfortunately, he bonks his head there, so he's not going to... He's going to be a little bit too late. Oh. I if thought he, he was going to get Python some and... damage there, but Python did yeah. well to dodge his rockets. No, if he hadn't have bonked on the exit of Red there, Knight, he would have gotten there in time. Yeah, it would have been a different there. situation. Yeah, yeah. So and that's he probably knows, he knows that, but that's the thing about playing is that sometimes you don't execute exactly according to plan, you have to adjust, so... Exactly, you can't just throw frags away when something yeah. doesn't go out exactly. exactly right. So he's done well here to restack back up. He's lost position on heavy, but he might get a rail angle and he does, yeah. and he's so quick on it, man. He's he's really impressing me right now, dude. What's his rail accuracy? 57%, oh no, sorry, 45%, but he's shot uh, a couple more than Python. Hmm. He's hitting some really, really nice rails, though. And they're also smooth as well. Like, like Knight, another big trace aimer. Um, like I was saying, he plays with like a meter and a half, two or three. Well, it's six. harder for Knight to hit rails against Athena than it is for Python to hit rails against uh, Clark. Mm. So let's not also forget that. Oh, exactly. Rail accuracies, but... Ooh. Oh. Interesting. I thought Python would have stayed with the rail gun there, but he chose to fire a rocket. I think he was maybe concerned about how quickly Clutch could get on him. And I think Knight's caught a little. Yeah, look, you know, I, I, Knight probably could have pushed that more, but you yep. don't want to risk it. You, you don't know what I love about Knight's playstyle right now, though, is like, and this is this is something that I wish Dave would have done on Clutch when I used to commentate Dave. I haven't seen, I haven't seen too many of his QPL games since so on at ridiculous times, but. Knight's mm. playing aggressive in the game is on the line, right? It's the grand final. You have to take the game on, and I feel like Knight's doing that. Even though it's not necessarily 100% working out for him, he, he's definitely make, trying to make plays happen. Yeah, exactly. You, you can't you can't sit back, especially against you can't Python. Be passive. You can yeah, sit you back. Can't be yeah, if you're passive, Python's going to walk over you. God, he's hitting some good rails. It's crazy. 
Uh, apparently he's actually changed up his sensitivity. Apparently he's a more sane sensitivity now. Is and that still because he's not his... playing Slash anymore, or why is that? Uh, I think, look, I think it's just a natural progression. You realize yep. that your your super low sensitivity isn't practical. Yep. Is he going to uh, know Heavy's not been taken here? He might not ooh. know. Python did a really good job there of tra tracking him down to the Mega because Knight respectfully nah, he gave him the Heavy. Yeah, well, there you go. So, Look at that. I don't know if Python planned that then. Maybe that was an accident. Maybe he thought Knight took the Heavy. Yeah, or maybe Python just more scared of Knight having the Mega. I Yeah, yeah it definitely a weird that. situation. Yeah, it could be that. Yeah, could be that. Is, um, Mega's better on all Heavy characters, is that right? Um... Kind of, right? Just because you get, like, you can cycle those small armors and get so much more from them. And you can deny them as well. Spion Knight didn't have rail ammo there. He had to switch to MG. Didn't get the damage that he wanted. Python did hit a, a rail on him. So he might go ahead. No, he's, he doesn't know where exactly where Python's going to come from, coming from Mega. Is going to come from rockets or from rail. So that's why Knight didn't jump up to get a rail gun just yet, even though he's been having success with it. Now he'll go for it. When it's safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and even takes his time, doesn't go for the rocket jump, just preserve yeah, all that stuff. Very careful not to get pinned. Yeah. Because Python is a player that would, might camp the rail, but obviously he doesn't know that he's out of ammo, but you know what I mean? Like, Python could have been up there. Oh, interesting. I thought that he took that heavy as well, though. But... No, right, Knight. I can I mean, try they're, and... both, they're both got full stack. Like, obviously, Cl Clutch is a bigger health pool, but yeah, what, what's um, going to happen? Well, the important thing here is that there's actually a little bit of a delay between Heavy and Mega now, and Knight oh, you know, seems to be positioned perfectly on it. Yeah, you know what's funny? I wouldn't say that... I wouldn't... No, no, no. I, I wouldn't say Knight's not afraid to commit, dude. He is committing, but he's just not getting that damage that he feels comfortable sticking around on. That's the problem, is like, he's getting the damage, but then he's like, taking a lot of damage as well. Ooh. Oh, LG fight. Python respects the uh, damage shield. Nah, this is unusual for games, Elim. This is totally unusual. And I wouldn't even say these guys are playing passive. I would just say they're both running the items, like all the little items. All the little yeah, hells, exactly. all the little armors. I, I think, yeah, and they're both playing kind of differently as well. Like, Python really using the Athena move. To make sure he's in strong positions where he can't oh, be fragged. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble here. Just, this oh is this is danger. Oh my god, Knight gets out. No, he doesn't. And he's got Mega here if he races over to it. He's scared if Python's watching the Mega Ooh, though. Yeah. And he is. Yeah, and yeah, he's, he's, he's actually. Is he gonna get heavy? He's not gonna get heavy here. Are you serious? He should. Yeah. Wow. He, he That's so can. well played, dude. Like just even though he cut that rail, exit rail, it's still and it, he just hit. Oh well, but look at the situation Python's in, right? Python does all that. He has to play all that, and he's still at a disadvantage here. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Python in some good, good rails though, and he's really, you know, oh my oh. god, he might hit. Some... And we're this on. Is it. We're literally oh, trading a rail. Oh my god, oh Python gets out. No. <laughs> Far out. Yeah, and Knight's just mopped up a lot of health bubbles around the map. So Guys, Knight's nine minutes right and now. the game's on a wire with the HP. I can't, like, Knight can this move quickly. Like, this can be Knight doesn't want to die. Knight doesn't want to die. It's too late, Knight. boys. Like, someone has to, someone has to die now. Like, Knight's it's too late. Be... A Knight... decision oh. has to be made, guys. <laughs> Who's better on this map? Tell me. <laughs> oh, it's creating some sick answers, basically. 30 seconds, dude. Knight's playing so well. I mean, Python, we expected some Python, but Knight has stepped up another level. <clears throat> what, could, what has he got? He's got heavy, and he's so quick. He could get pinned here, though, and he was worried. Yeah. That's why he spent tri -bolt. Python respected Knight's uh, tri -bolt. Oh, he misses a free rail. That's okay. Oh, it's a... All right. Let's just let Knight play for a bit. Sudden death. Now, overtime works two minutes, right? In this. No, no, next frag wins. It's the first kill. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're kidding. That's, that's too much, eh? That's too much. That's it's too a much. lot of pressure. <laughs> that's the only kill on this map wins the game. Yeah. Eight minutes overtime predicted. Yeah, let's start guessing overtime, boys. What do you reckon? Whoever gets it the closest. Nah, I wish I had a scale barrier statue for you, but uh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> yeah. There should still be a few around, next right? Next frag wins. Oh. Alright, I might click over to Python as well. No, they're getting in a fight, never mind. Oh, it's a trade. Oh, just 
Again, just splitting these items. Yeah. Now they're too scared to commit. Now that it's too late to, like, Knight can't play aggressive at all. He has to play calculate. He's been playing very well. He's been playing very well, but probably a bit too aggressive early on. <laughs> now he's just going to try and... You can see they they change the pace now. They're walking. They're being quiet. They're not taking a... They're not taking guns or pickups because it gives sound cues. Yeah, and I mean, Knight really hungry for that trap. He's really looking for Python to commit into him. This is nice. If Knight's quick here, he could actually get around to Heavy really effectively. If Python makes a wrong move, he'll, he'll take a lot of damage. Oh, he's so close for it. Half a second. Half a second. I love he doesn't it. want to rock jump. He's being very conservative with his stack here. He wants every single HP to take a fight. And here he goes. Great flick rocket. 100 damage. Oh, Python respects. No, it comes in. Oh, no. This is this it? Is this it? I need to push it. There oh, it is. Oh, no. Knight takes Shocker. the first map. Lead taken. You win. Just patience, right? But like, so it was much patience pressure into and aggression. Patience. Oh, just all mixed. Yeah. There. Just in that last 30 seconds, Knight said, okay, I'm going to turn it on. from Python, but again, it was, it's on a bigger hitbox, but... Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Knight, Knight just decides to turn it on, right? He realizes he can get from Heavy, I get from Mega, and then pressure well. Heavy. Exactly. Um, Knight did so well that game, dude. That was scary, hey? That was absolutely scary. Yeah, and suddenly that clutch aggression comes out, the double taps, his, his fingers furiously mashing the keyboard. Um, but that was almost certainly Knight's pick, uh, Blood Cove, being able to have that clutch out. Next, we're going to be going to Awoken to with uh, Knight playing Galena and Python playing Aizen. It's going to play very different. In three, two, one, fight. This Eisen has a lot of interesting tricks up his sleeve. I mean, he's got that little turret there. Oh, interesting double back right back for Knight. Uh, Python's going to get some... How, how do you feel turret. about the Galena versus, you know, the two, the Totem versus Turret matchup on the champion? Team? I mean, yeah, look, it's all about this kind of strategic, like, planning ahead thinking with how these abilities are getting used. I favor the Galena because you get that stack advantage. Really? Yep. Yep. Um, I see. But, I, think both, yeah. I think they're both great, yeah. Could could see why Galena would get it if you could control that rail area. Python catches out Knight a little bit though, but Knight gets well, good damage. Who's and catching wow. who really? Yeah, really. <laughs> Python took so much damage. Hey, that's right, we'll go with Knight. I mean, after that last game, dude, I'm, I'm really interested to see what Knight can do here. Great rockets. Obviously, he doesn't have much stack to work with after it though. Python doesn't either though, he's still railing. But heavy's up for him. And yeah, and I like, saw Python play Awaken recently. He is pretty sharp. This map plays to all the Python strengths, I think. Um, it, it's a map that lets you. Oh no, Knight! Oh, he was he, he loses giving his that nerve. over out of respect though, or did he did he just not want to be there, or was it a timing thing? I think once he heard the rocket jump, he got a bit scared. Yeah, yeah, but yeah respect thing. That's right. Like he didn't know the exact time. Uh, he was a hundred zero, so he'd die really easily. Um. Yeah, I, I think this map like gives you a lot of chances to fight with every weapon. Like there are good places for rockets, there are good places for LG, there's loads of good rail angles, and I think that plays really well to Python's strengths, because he's just like, you know, he can pull out these crazy rocket fights, but he's just so good with every gun. LG on LG. Parks <laughs> trying to help out <laughs> on the bloody jump pad. Gets a couple of shots in. Python with the prediction rocket. No, just within the rail though. If you watch how Knight started that fight out though, oh, did he just midi that turret on a bounce pad? Yeah, he did, and he wants to kill it still. He's going back for it now. Oh, he's just missed it. Yeah, but see, you, you, like, you really have to focus in on that turret to do with yeah. it. Yeah. The turret definitely beat uh, Knight that one, I reckon. I'll give him the map. Give Yeah, give it the map. MVP turret. So he's just lost out on both items. He's playing very, very slow this one, very passive. He's just been eaten with a rail and he's trying to get out of there. Lovely use of the totem. I think one thing we can expect to see Knight doing in this map is to use totems to open up Anglis for himself. So like to put a totem down before he peeks or before Python tries to peek him, just so that he has something to cover behind. You know, and what, just was to, like, you know what was really interesting about what happened there? Mm. 
Um, the turret was already really low health. Great rail from Knight there, great angle. The turret was already really low from Knight rocketing it before. That it mm -hmm. almost gave Python a false sense that he would have to kill the turret before biting him. And yeah, then exactly. Knight melted the turret with two LG hits and... Oh. Anyway, uh, Python was just to steal the Mega. But that, that was some really nice OG from Knight to, to flip that around, like, um, because Python had Mega as well, that was a, a pretty clear stack advantage to Knight. Yes, got 36 OG at the right? moment, he had 30 before, so he obviously did a bit more of that fight to bring it yeah, up. Yeah, prob probably means he hit at least 50 yeah, that Yeah, probably at 40, 40 Yeah, that was tricky. Oop. Python I mean, putting Knight's pressure on a little bit more. Again, he? Python yeah. definitely had an opportunity, but then... Knight's really well set up Knight? here. Yeah, wow. Oh, oh. good shot, Python. Literally came down to who could click first. They like, both, they really... both put out a rail. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I was just like, what? Well, I feel like Knight didn't fire or something. Oh, he took, a, and he look took at... an extra second to line it up. Look at how clean... Well, I think Knight's thing's a bit higher. I, I think, like, look at how clean that was for Knight. Like, he hits that shot right off the spawn and he just disappears. He doesn't get greedy with it. Yeah. Uh, he leaves Python in the dust. Python yeah, has I just to realized that was a 15 ping versus 60 ping yeah, disadvantage yeah. Amazing. Oh, look at these. Nice. Look at these rockets for Good Python. Fire, yeah. Even though Python doesn't get the frag, he shreds Knight's stack. And so now this next rotation of items, like Python does that at pretty much perfect time, because he's going to respawn gets and get right in. into this item. And that's a beautiful rock hit. Was Ranger, I don't know, I didn't see the grinder, was Ranger banned, I'm guessing? Was Python normally, like, Ranger on this map? I'd, I'd think that or Knight Doom would ban Ranger. No, like Do, he's Doom Guy and Ranger, yeah. Um, I feel like if I was Knight, I would be trying to stop Python playing Doom Guy and Ranger, especially on maps like this, where it's almost yeah, like... Yeah. I'm pretty sure Doom Guy is definitely one of Python's um, good characters. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so I... you can see in these dirty rocket fights with the and he can double jump. Ah. Exactly. Um, it's it's always that like like Knight is a very like ordered player. Like you can tell he likes to line his shots up really carefully. Yep. He hits his shots really well. He likes his kind of like calculated, more calculated. Yeah. Where's and if Python gets so on that Ranger or that it's Doom, it's like chaotic. Creative. How do you feel about their fighting abilities? Like who yeah. would you give the edge to or do you think it's pretty fair right now? It's been pretty it's neck and neck so far. Yeah. Just based on history it's hard to not give Python the edge in fights. Uh, and his rockets have looked really really clean this map. Yeah. Like he's just had more opportunities to use them than against the clutch. But yeah. I, I would still definitely say that you know Knight's been stepping up to him and actually winning some OG fights in a major yeah. way. Nice route from Python. Mine with the old blood run teleporter rail. Mm -hmm. Python just slowly gaining ground here. Able to hold, well, potentially hold the strongest position well, on the map. Well, he's got the work to, right? One one frag. I mean, he's got, doesn't have to rush it, obviously, four minutes. Still plenty of time to uh, make something happen. Oh, Python, he's gonna bait Knight into this turret. The opening damage from the turret now. <clears throat> See, that's just so tricky oh. from Python. Like, you can see the plan, you can see him put it into motion, oh. throws the turret down, then he just executes it. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, no, I was trying to be cute there and get damage on the heavy, but... Yeah, Python heard him jumping, annoying. he was like, uh, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? <laughs> 4 4. I mean, still. Knight hasn't really been able to get in the last couple of minutes on control since um, Python's taken it, so I don't know. He seems to be playing very risk adverse, so like really like passive at the moment. Mm. I just don't know. I don't know. He's going to have to keep the score line close and like sort of weasel his way on the Mega or something with the Heavy. He needs, yeah. to, he needs to try to find one of those items. Well, he's well set up here. One rocket will put him in front. Yeah, but he, he, can't, doesn't he doesn't get many windows of opportunity to shoot rockets. So. Exactly. Um, Knight did in overtime. Uh, one zero murder. It was it was a pretty clean frag, but it was um an awesome ending. It, it... Yeah, it's all good. See again, Python uh, not matching up super well in these OG engagements. 
But he has a small armor to back off on too. So he's put himself down low. That can be dangerous right before no, that. Nice, LG actually actually gone up since we last commented mm -hmm. on it as well, from 36 to 37 percent. So obviously just here. Yeah. Just I'm not surprised. Have the same damage numbers. 150, 190. Close. Right, I was 50, 50. Same yeah, the damage is actually like tit and tat. Yeah. Items really close. Yeah, these guys are matching up really, really well right now. Yeah, items are so, oh, a bit more heavy than Python, but yeah, close, very close. Again, Python wants to hold this position, and like Python has in the last four minutes been winning the fights and the positioning yeah. up Gosh. above Mega, and that makes a huge difference on this map. It's the strongest. I didn't realize the this. There's the HP healed um, thing on the scoreboard. That's so cool. Yeah. I should have looked yeah, at it last yeah. game, but I did see Python did about 500 more damage than him, even though he lost mm -hmm. the game. But this one here, they're about even at the moment. About 2,700. One minute warning. Yeah, you'd expect with the difference between Clutch and Athena that, mm -hmm. like, the I Clutch mean, are would be going to go over again, guys. Come on, seriously. 4 4, <laughs> really? Knight's done really well out of control here. Python's definitely dominated the last few minutes. Like,. At least the last four to, four to five minutes. Here we go. Nice close. Python makes the jump. Python made the jump and oh no, one frag. You can't be caught with a railgun out like that. Um, Python just knows how Good to sweep that one Python. up. Yeah, great read from Python. Now, what, yeah. not, what can Knight do? 30 seconds. He has we've to got it. Desperate. Yeah, we've got to watch Knight here. Um, I love that he goes back for the rockets. He can't take damage. Nice little rocket. Be careful, he wants that little light armor so yeah. bad. And here he comes. Oh, nice entrance. So he can't chase. Get Mega. He has the rocket jump. And then he just go, in. go hard. Yeah. Yes. He okay. hears Python go through Telly. Yeah, he's gonna rocket rock. jump. Here he goes. Oh my god, rockets on. It's Second a great rocket. rocket. This is Python. Oh. Great dodging. That might have done it. No LG pin. Two seconds. Oh my oh. god, the LG just not enough. I can't believe it. He was so it. close. <laughs> He rocket jumps up, he gets the bounce, and that second rocket looked so hot, and it just didn't deal any damage. Holy crap. How do games keep ending like this? I don't understand, dude. I don't understand. I know. Oh, like, that was like one more second, one more second, and Knight would have won that. But also, I will say, Knight's LG was shaky as that last fight. Mm. He looked clean as before that, but that last fight, you could see, you could feel the adrenaline and the tension to try and glue anything together there. Mm -hmm. Like, you just, ah, oh, you just feel, if his LG was slightly better, he would have got that kill, I reckon, so. That's insane. I never would have, well, not never, but, like, I wasn't expecting the maps to be this close in the final. I was expecting there to be night maps and Python maps. Well, Python um, made a great read to put himself in the lead there. Like, that hmm. that read on where Knight was going to be on that heavy, like, Knight hadn't even been shown up for those heavies. So for Python to just be right in his face un unexpectedly like that's the game changer right there and yeah <laughs> i mean knight did well off the spawn though for sure like he yeah you hate yeah it almost feels like that urgency that he could have brought to you know prior a bit prior to that i felt like he played very passive when he was out of control but yeah i mean it was a great it, game. exactly and it, it's so to hard say, to know like, against python right in the end yeah if you make one wrong step against Python, he'll he'll mop the floor. He'll punish you. you for it. Yeah, I agree with that as well. Yeah. So I, I think Knight's approach here. That, yeah, yeah Knight, Knight's approach here to try and actually win is to just like be passive, or to not give anything away that he doesn't need to. Um, I think on Ruins, there's a lot of room. Oh, this is gonna be sick. We're gonna see more yeah. of that. Where one, where one, one. Exactly. You know what? I, I don't want to say a five mapper, but I always love like these first two maps have been insanely close. You know, without jinxing the whole grand finals here, mm. I'd love to see a go down to the fifth map. It would be incredible. I mean, everyone wants that for sure. You know, oh, yeah. who doesn't want to stop watching good games like that? But yeah. All right, here we Round go. Begins in three, so yeah, Knight with two, Visor. What? Um, fight. with Python on the Knicks. Let's watch Python off the spawn because uh, the Knicks just has a few more options here. Mm -hmm. It will be interesting to see when Knight pops this vision though. Mm -hmm. Um. And again, if Knight tries to run one of these routes. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ooh, so yeah. Ooh. We'll actually have some read on what Python's trying to do. Python dodges around that little pillar. Yeah, I was about no to say, what was the rockets. important there was that he dodged those rockets, eh? It's just a little weird bit of geometry, and Python's worked out how to take full advantage of it for that fight. Like, that's a play. 
Nice little bit of tri bolt though. Keep height in the bay, make that shot harder to hit. You know, if nothing else, you can actually kind of create like a smoke screen for yourself, right? Ooh, oh, nice rocket that. Rocket jump. He's gonna I don't think I've ever seen anyone rocket jump to make it back before. <laughs> that was just such a Python rocket jump. So obviously Knight is the preferred matchup here, but with the with the angles around the map, would you give any percentage to Nyx to be favoured in terms of champion matchup? Um, look, yes, because you can make really sneaky plays on angles. Mega and on yep. oh, right. Of course, yes, with the Invis. Like, look yep. at this. Look at this. What do you do about a move like that? I don't know if Knight heard it or not. Um, but like regardless of whether you hear it or not, there's nothing you can do about it. Right? Either you know the invis has come up and you just have to give it up or you have no idea what's going on. Yep, yep. Python definitely playing well with the Nyx right now. Python just trying to quiet out, read sound cues. He's not going to see Knight, but he might, he might see him at rail. Here we go, yeah, we saw him. He said it was his eye. Doesn't get the trade, though. <laughs> and Knight, I mean, with a little bit of a window here to get yeah, he's his actually, first frag on the board. He's going to get stacked up. He's a bit of a way away from a frag yet. He's got to get that opening damage, and he's got to get out of here without taking the rail. Ooh, and Python gives him But he gives out mega position. I mean, not mm -hmm. worth. You know what I mean? He missed the row as well, so... But even if he hit the row, I still kind of feel like losing position on... Yeah, no, I think really Python needed to rocket jump there. Uh, he's rocket jumped so well for the first few minutes of this map, and there just uh, doesn't go. take the oh, oh, Good rocket spam from Python, but... This is this is what I was trying to say to Hodgie before. Like, with, with, when he's game, he kept chasing there. And this is where Knight backs off, looks for a row angle, unfortunately takes a trade, but you know what I mean? Like, he's still yeah. alive and healthy and still like, in control. And so that's what, like, with the, um, uh, what he was doing, it was just like, like tunneling down that predictable, you know, corridor or whatever. Yeah. It's one of those things, right? Like, if you're 150, you can feel like you have the advantage, but it's still only two picks from Python. And once you get to these really good players who are executing so well all the time, the rules about when you can and can't push are just totally different to if you're playing, you know, just some rather than a pub match. <laughs> Alright, Python's um, gonna be on the inner part of the map, Knight's gonna be on the outer part. Yep, yep. I like this position for Python a bit more, as long as he can get back up here without being challenged. Yep. And now again, like, how... He's playing for exit damage on here, on heavy here. Manny's away from Poland! I don't believe it! He's got up for the game! He heard the Knight Python playing. He couldn't sleep. Had he had to know who's going to be better. Time, yeah. I, I've had that happen before where you can't sleep. You need to know the answer to something so you can't sleep. That's exactly what made it. Python, no, away from Python forced to use his invis there just to get out alive. And yeah, just, just trying to make any damage connect. Unable to do it. Knight putting the pressure down right now. Ooh, good rockets from Python though. But Knight sticks with the LG. And he hits a lot of LG there actually. But that's what I was saying, right? Like... Oh, Knight, so sneaky there. So I'll, I'll finish that other thought. Knight changed his vision, uh, and he has majorly, majorly delayed this armor and made sure that Python hasn't heard it. Uh, so Python's probably actually, you know, potentially... He, know Megas, he knows Mega's up here, does he? Yeah, he does too. Wow. So, interesting play. Knight getting full control and also getting a little bit of an offset of the items as well. That's, uh... Yeah, and so what, what Knight should do here is just sit above, make sure Python knows he's... Nah, look, it's fine. The the delay didn't play out into quite what he wanted, but it's probably confused Python quite a lot. Yeah. And that's also probably part of the reason why Python didn't go for Mega. He was probably expecting to hear heavy, and then didn't. Oh, Knight still sees him there. Oh, nah, no, thinks Python knew that he knows. Oh, he just whiffs the rail, though. And if he hits the rail there, he almost rocket jumps to chase that kill. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's mm. he's got the stack to work with, and he's desperate to get at least that kill back on the board. That could have been a window if he just hit that rail. <clears throat> Nyx is done for this map, I reckon. 
All right. Yeah, but this is one of these hard situations right now because we are. Python looks for a rail because he fires that rail. Yeah. He can't. He can't. So Knight's got heaps of time before the next item. Just popped his invis, and I think Python knows that he did pop it. And Knight was yeah. just trying to be very quiet there. He didn't want the rail or the LG out because he wanted to sneak up on Python, hoping it was gonna stay there watching. Uh, this is dangerous Rocks tonight. Python. Oh no! That's gonna do it. Oh, the invis though, and they race for it. Exactly Knight where he's coming the from. Rail as well. Oh, that was a ballsy move from Python, you know, if that had worked out, but Knight just read it. That was the only problem. Oh uh, my god. He, did, he didn't even need the Indus there, that was just for, just for a little bit of extra... Yeah, but my problem. boy should be more than the game stand Wolf, are we? Python just trying to... He can't fight with Rocket, so he doesn't want to push in. He's got position on Heavy here, but he's, he's not... No, he not realise what time is, because... Um, Knight was been the person taking it, but thankfully, Python saw Knight on the high ground and realized, why isn't Knight at the heavy? So I'll take it. So I don't know if that was like, uh, uh I, yeah. I, I felt like now Knight should have looked at the heavy at least, maybe try to get a rail shot, and then he would have seen it was up. 2 2, so close again. Python does hunt him down though, and that heavy yeah. was really important there. It, it really was. Even though Python had a position on it. Well, the not only the heavy, and left it up. not only the heavy, but the fact that then Knight couldn't get onto a small armor because Python had been taking him all. And you can see Knight, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to move anywhere that he's not 100% certain he's safe, and that's why he was listening through the walls there for Python. And Python's just rocket jumped and chased him because he's not, he's not having a bar of it. He knows he's got no. full control, so it's his best chance for him to get kills. And you can see how aggressive Python's playing right now. This is what we were saying before about you can't give Python kills. Remember you were saying that before? Because he just, he locks you into this small part of the map where it's like he knows the items you have and don't have, and he knows where you're going next. He's going to rail and LG to camp that, because that's what Knight doesn't have right now. Well, but even more, he was putting that pressure on Knight. Like he pushes, he pushes, he goes- Oh, he yup, spawn. Yeah, again. he's good at but that as that, well. But that gives Python space to get a small yep. arm and get heavy as well. And you so can still see Python is still camping the LG in the rail because he knows Knight doesn't have it. And he can sense he's going for it now. And he's going to stay here. Really he doesn't need the moon. He doesn't, he's got Mega. He can come straight back to LG and rail. He's actually going to, you know, he's racing straight back there because he's got heavy up. But you can yeah, see why Python, like Python he's literally like Knight, you're not getting these two guns. And so he's going to try and get a fight going where it's either right, he hits a rail shot or LG. And here we go. This is exactly what Python wanted. And look, he's getting free rain almost. There's some good damage coming out of Knight with the... Um, is it a or a machine gun there? There you go. That was a uh, nail gun. And this is it. Yep. Beautiful. Just that. And that's... That's for the, for the newer guys. Not the newer guys, but maybe like the amateur guys as well. Like that's how you... Got to choke your opponent out. Do you know what I mean? It's like I'm gonna stay here all day, all day. You have you have to do something, mm. and that and then you know Knight is forced to make a play off the little green. That's it, and it's that trade off as well. It's like you know Python even prepared to give up a mega as long as he denies that. Yeah, he didn't, well he got the mega in the end anyway because he saw where Knight was positioned out rockets. So exactly. he, he did well. He did well to get the mega there as well, but he just yeah, but it's, that, it's whole, prioritizing. that whole sort of segment was just like. No, dude, you, like, you're not coming back into this game. Like, I'm not going to give you the guns to come back into this game at such a critical moment in the game as well. Mm. And then he, you know, what can Knight do? He's like, I can't go for LG, I can't go for Rao. I'll try to stack up on a light. Gets caught there. Game over, pretty much after that. So. Well, there's a the Mega tonight. He's going to make a play with this. Yeah. And he comes, Python with LG. Yeah, it's too, oh, too, easy too clean. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he, he can play defensive. We know that he can defensive. The 2 1 up, Python Knight. Definitely got some work to do on this next map, and Python will go on to match points. And after the first two games where Knight was de I definitely felt like Knight had um, a lot of contr more control on Blood Covenant. Maybe not as much on Awoken, but he still, you know, did his job, so... Mm. Yeah, it, um... Anyway. It really felt like the Nyx movement there was so slick for Python. Like, he just made really smart decisions, he was able to deny that rail and that LG for the yeah, last, yeah. like, three minutes of the game. Yeah, yeah. 
like if Knight can't get those guns, Knight can't really do anything. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's uh, not Knight's it's not what one in the game camp in the LG, but that's definitely what sealed once, it. Once once he got so. ahead, he was able to do that yeah, so effectively exactly that right. Knight couldn't get an, get a, a foot back in. Molten Falls, um, a newer map here, uh, a much more spacious map. Strog on Knight. Now, Knight is really good at his crouch slide movement. Like, you're definitely going to see a lot of crouch sliding, or a little bit. Like, it's not, you know, it's it's not slash level. But um, Python playing DK here. Uh, now, Death Knight, it's pretty much the worst character in the dual meter at the moment. Yeah. Um, the ability doesn't do much. It's pretty right. much the, the one of the last picks pretty much always. So um, why would you say there's taking it in the fourth map? Or is there some worse pick that I just don't know about that's in the fifth map? Well, okay, so the last pick Python has. So the fifth, fifth map's going to be Corrupted Keep, yeah. uh, Slash versus Sawlag. I'm going to guess that Python just Python doesn't like Sawlag. Uh, Python and oh, Sawlag. Slash. Slash. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So if we see that last map, that's going to be... You know what's funny is that like, Python's also good on Crouch Slide Champions as well. Mm. So that's why I was interested to see Slash so late in the pick band. Like, yeah. I can give it to him. That's weird. Fight. It is really interesting that yeah. no one wanted it, especially on Blood Cub up first. Well, yeah, I know but... Python can play Slash as well, so he would have definitely keeping it up because he can also play it. So yeah, and he probably just prefers that Athena. Uh, I'm gonna look at Python on the start, start here, start, yep. a little bit unconventional, but just to see what he actually does with this Death Knight, because he does have a rocket in his pocket. A rocket um, in his that... pocket? Eh? Did someone pay to send that? Or... <laughs> the the fireball is explosive, right? Like. It, you you literally it is like having an extra rocket in a is fight. Is it good from that range he was just at, or not really? Is it closer than that? Kind of. It can be. It it, it, can it be. depends on so many things. Um, and it's hard to lead at that range. Importantly. <laughs> oh, good rail. I think Titan's feeling warm. I think I think he's feeling good right now. He's just hit two really squares back to back. But I feel like this is another map that can be very similar to Blood Covenant, where you can just keep running and stacking and you know what I mean? So, great route from Knight there. He might, set it. he might push him to the heavy. Wow, he's early. He doesn't have a time on it. He's just desperately waiting on it. And oh, a second too early. Not only that, but yeah, Python just hits pretty much perfect rockets onto it. <clears throat> now, no fireballs used yet for Python. And I'm starting to wonder if he's actually going to use... <laughs> Oh, like very well, much you just all. said it was the weakest ability in the game, and it does also mean that you don't have your gun for a few seconds. So, exactly. you know what I mean. You do miss like a rail opportunity if you if you're using it in a weird spot. So, like now, it's good where you can hide behind a pillar because you're not gonna you're not gonna pay for the price of using it. Just like pressure, but you can also see the Python hit no damage. Yeah, <laughs> I know. it's, it's a I mean, another rail. Oh. It was a good read from Python to be spamming that launch pad exit, but. Knight just had the stack to just run through the rockets, so... Yeah, Knight gets oh, the, uh... Who's the guy's the weakest ability? You know what's funny? I don't... Oh. I reckon it's got an interesting swing to it. And yeah, Doom... has move speed buff as well. So yeah, Do Doom, is Doom has the weakest ability. Uh, Death Knight just doesn't have any mobility, which is what right. hurts it. Like, it has a weak ability and no mobility. So Doom has a weak ability. Champion. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. And of course, Saul, I mean, um, Strog with the slash crash side movement as well. Great rockets from Knight, but good LG from Python. And yeah, I mean, Python breaks the lead, but he's not in a good position to get heavy here. Again, Knight's done, Knight's uh, moved really well off the start here. He knows what he can take, his position to take this heavy. Gauntlet could be used in competitive nice play. Time. You know what, Bonwa? There was a period of time where it was in the uh, sacrifice. Mm. Or should I call oh, it? Oh, it was price. so good in sacrifice. Yeah, it was amazing. It was the most fun I've ever watched in any arena shooter in my entire life. I yeah, wish it was that crazy. we could rewind back to it <laughs> sometimes. Some nights I dream about it as well, <laughs> Bonwa. The sack tournaments were so crazy, weren't they? Yeah, super crazy. Gauntlet fights, yeah. <laughs> And just like uh, starting shotguns. They they I mean, it got better after they fixed the gauntlet, but when the gauntlet was in, oh, geez, yeah. Really Start starting shotguns. Get off topic, though. Not to get off topic. No, no, sorry. We've, we've got a long history of quake. I'll I'll take a plane in New Zealand and I'll fight. Be quake. CTF. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice little trades of damage there, but Knight actually getting the mega 
you know, has that bit more stack to play with than a nice little lane. I'm loving the uh, use of the crouch side movement, eh? He's zipping around He's going so quickly. So fast. Obviously, you do still have that problem where you can run into danger, but I feel like Knight's pretty well versed on where the danger could be. Um, I don't think I'm outlaying I... Bridgie. <laughs> so, I'll see you there in a couple of years, mate. Uh, Knight getting some good pressure down with the drone, but not making a whole load of damage. Just kind of an annoyance. It's like a little fly buzzing around Python's head. He's got to swat it away. He's got to kind of break his momentum to, to deal with it. But it's not a huge deal right now. Yeah, Knight is dead. Knight's like, oh. Knight Chug, they're like, I mean, there's not even just those two. There's probably about 10 players I can name Wicked Slash Movement. Like, these guys love it, dude. They love it so much. But with the slash movement and the stroke movement, like stroke movement, oh no, Knight drops down the rail. Different. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. It's harder, that's the thing. What was harder, but slower? Yeah, it's just harder to keep your momentum, like chaining it together. Big trade there. Yeah, um, that trade. should have been Knight's frag. He he dropped down with that rail gun out. You can't do it. Dustbox, uh, mate. Don't say that, Dustbox. I said five maps, mate. Come on, don't let me down. Don't let me down saying it's over. <laughs> Look, what three, I like three, for Knight there, right? He still gets the, the Stroyant. He still gets the little 25 health boost. Yeah. Right? So he's actually in a better spot than you would maybe think. Python really cheeky with that railgun there. Mm. Oh, he's so cheeky. He knows exactly what Knight wants to do. Knight this, right? He's he's done so well to preserve his stack and to stay one step ahead of Python here. Yeah. For this whole series. Like, he hasn't given anything away. And this... He's kind of just giving some stuff away. Python pacing down the rail. Uh oh, we're gonna fight for this mega. Oh no, Knight just keeps sliding in. Oh, and Python just misses the rail. That could have definitely sealed him the game. In a sense. Obviously, not the full game, but. Hmm. He didn't get that frag very cleanly. Knight definitely did a bit more damage than he probably should have. I mean, if Python hit the rail, he would have got it clean, but. Yeah, Knight responds with a fair bit here. Mm. Um. Oh, he's laid onto heavy, unfortunately. He's nah, he couldn't contest heavy. Before. He's not looking for it. He's looking for a time on it and maybe a tele maybe a launch pad exit. And look at Python, just reading. He doesn't know nothing, but he knows exactly where his opponent is. Hmm. He's got he's got the visor uh, built in. Oh, for sure. Good read. He's taking the LG fight. Use. Oh wow! Did he get a good fireball off, or was that not as good as I thought it was? I don't think it was that much damage. I think that was mostly the LG. Um, Knight hit a lot of LG, but yeah, was up. Python. Oh. Python out I mean, of here. Python's gonna be. Knight's gonna know Python's low here. He tried Ooh. to get the ultimate ability nice. and he did get a little bit of damage. So this is Knight's chance now. Two frags, plenty of time. Oh, he's yeah, dead. So Python's up at the moment. We've got Knight with a little bit of a little bit of a glimpse of hope still in this game. Three minutes left. He's just taken the heavy. It's gonna be low on LG ammo soon though. Yeah, Knight has to be really careful pushing for that angle because it's going to leave him out of control. He's I mean, wise to cycle around, but Python knows exactly what he wants. Knight leading him with this drone. I love how Knight knew that he was at LG there as well. Like, they're both wise of this game or some shit. Like, I get, is it a small map? Can you just hear a lot of sound cues through the walls in here? I think, I think it's partly the sound cues and it's partly the obvious thing to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There we go. Got a time. Got a rail on it as well. Oh, no! Oh no, he's shaking okay. the mouse and he's gonna be Dylan, late to Mega. Dylan. Python doesn't get the damage that he wants. Oh, he does. Oh, and he hits a good exit rail though, falling off the edge. That's heartbreaking. Knight just missed a little bit of slash movement there. He just missed, he hit the launch pad. I hate to see it, because he would have been on time for Mega and he would have slipped out there like nothing happened. He's done Mega a lot of work here now. though. He's bullied, not, he's bullied Python off the heavy and he, you can sense that he wants this Mega. He knows the time on it for sure, but he might not be able to get around there. He's, he he's just got to listen. Again, like, he's got the nail gun even. He could yep. try and make a play. He actually, he hears the bounce pad exit there. So yes. he gets information, right? Yep. Knight's doing a great job of staying calm and making sure he's just playing for information. That I he mean, can always make time to stay decisions. calm, though. It, I mean, he's still got a minute 40, but three frags on this map. I just don't know how easy it is it to lock down a refrag, like a respawn. You can do it, and especially as the stroke when you've got that movement. Sorrel here. He, he's gonna have to do something. This is the game on the line, right? You got a minute left, three frags. You got Mega. 
Like, this is, the... this is it, right? This game is on the line. Like, he has to go and take a fight and force a fight. Like, he can't afford to be wasting time trying to figure out where he is. Here he sees him. He almost has to rocket jump, in my opinion. He's... Yeah, he's definitely got to follow up the battle. more guy. urgency is what I'm trying to stress. Here he goes. Oh, oh he's just with the rail, but you can see he's closing the gap a little bit with the crouch slide. Runs over the five of no... Oh, he hears Python. Oh, he just whips the rail and he's gone with the lol. No. Yeah, no. I feel he's, like this it, game's getting away from him and this this might be the end of it, eh? He's got to connect with his clutch shots so and they count. Hard. He's got a rocket jump. He knows. He knows oh, what to do. Oh, he's a defensive rail. Oh, and he tries oh, to dodge the second defensive out. rail, but Python's too good. That is unfortunately going to be it for night. And I mean, what a great showing though on Blood mm. Covenant and a work like, oh, uh, was that work in the second map? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Awoken and great showing come. from Night A. Just just absolute amazing, nail biters. Amazing Look. games, though. But the thing is, though, you got to remember, right, guys, just so we're all understanding of, like, Python's played against Dan, Steve, Zanaku for, like, years and years and years, quite like, quite champions in grand finals, in hmm. semi finals. This is Knight's furthest even, run. He's no, I don't think he's got the semi finals in the OQS season two. So this is, like, you know, a good feat for him, but then to play like that is like, mm. I have really high hopes for him. Into if he if he keeps playing diabolical, if he can figure out the the straight jumping and the positioning, you know, the differences in the game, oh, I think he I can think, be insane. I think the way he like he obviously has a really calm and collected approach to the game. I think he'll transition over. No yeah, I'm no looking forward. Like, yeah, he he's seems got, definitely he's got seems a big very future. calculated. Yeah, he seems mm. good. Yeah. Honestly, like those first two maps, I was super impressed. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? I've not seen him before. And I've obviously watched him play for the last four years, so. Mm. Yeah, it's been nuts. Uh, just phenomenal. Like, such a good journey to see of Luke. Even though he's Luke, I can't say good things about how mature and just well executed those games quick were.